who looked at one? Thought, you know what this needs? Small, pasty, sliced up pickles. <laughs> Talking about corn dogs for anybody wondering, and uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hi, <laughs> hello, welcome, um, welcome back to Nat 19. Devil, devils might surrender. Our devil may cry based <sighs> fifth edition D and D game, uh, and we missed a week, which means we missed a month. So you know what that means. Everybody gets to spend a good like hour of the game being like, all right, right, good. This is what my character does. Ah, I see. Yeah. Including me. <laughs> the DM. You know, like, ah, oh, right, this is what my character does. Yeah, this is, this is, fucking, hold on, this is what my 50 characters do. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Back in. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, before we get going, I want to announce right up front, for those of you that do not know, there will be a link in the description to it, but Nat19 has started a Patreon. Uh, this yeah. is separate from our subscriptions on Twitch, uh, mainly because some people want a more reliable way to support the show. There's other benefits there, including getting battle maps, monster stat blocks from stuff that I make, uh, full resolution images instead of the... Um, 20% size ones that I, I put out and, you know, they're obviously not in full resolution when you see them in the, the YouTube videos and on the streams and whatnot, because streams. Uh, beyond that, and uh, for the highest tier, the multiversal hero tier, you could be one of the 20 people. Tier. You could be one of 20 people that has your name on the back plate, if you think that's something that you think would be cool. You can uh, mm -hmm. you can find that Patreon at uh, nat nineteen or nat nineteen dot nat nineteen dot Patreon dot UK dot CVV. Okay. Talk <laughs> of my brain. Box, I'm gonna be real with y'all. My brain's in a weird place today. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon dot com slash nat nineteen official. And as I said, the link will be in the video below. And uh, for those of you that are watching currently on the stream, the link is in the chat. And, um, I think that's basically, I think that's the only thing I really have to talk about. Have I released the Petal Knight since we did this? Was the Petal Knight out? Yeah, it must have been out last time we played. I don't remember. I released I more either. Petal Knight subclasses. Go check my drive through I'll put true. some stuff on there. Go check it. Go check and support the show. I think you released it generally around the same time. Yeah. And then I released the Epithets Expanded thing I definitely sensed last game. So go check the drive through Hack, and if you want to support the show, you can also get stuff there. Yep, skillshare.com slash nat19. No, that's that's not a thing. iraycon.com <laughs> slash nat19. That, that could be a thing if Raycon wants to get on that, but it's not a thing currently. <laughs> I mean, Skillshare could also, we'll make a Skillshare page and then Come pretend on, we Razor. use it. Come on, Razor Watches. You Make sure you I go to make, make sure you go to Gillette.com slash Nat19 official to get the smoothest shave you ever had. Yo, okay. Come on, yeah. come on, Mac. All right. come on I Mac sport, Weldon. I sport some 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 scruffies. And if, if Dollar Shave Club wanna you know, call me. You know, I've been flirting with Dr. Pepper, but don't think I'll see you over there. <laughs> Dollar Shave Club. You should advertise Mac Weldon. They have Manscaped, the underwear what's up? They have the they have the underwear that has the silver woven in it, so that apparently when you fart, no one smells it. Oh, I thought it was in case my ass was a werewolf. <laughs> I mean, werewolves can wear Mac Weldon too. It's very high quality underwear. My brother and my dad would know because those are the only people I buy them for. Awesome, MacWeldon.com. Also, they're like they're like thirty six dollars a pair. Official. <laughs> they're like thirty six dollars a pair of underwear. Like holy fuck, not even like a bra goes for that much. Ooh, Actually, no, I'm lying. Bras go for a lot more. I wish I could make the the Shadow Legends joke, but we have been sponsored by them, so that that ship is sailed. <laughs> you Nord know VPN. Yeah, we haven't been sponsored by Nord, <laughs> but we have been sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark. Yeah. Yeah. Would it be disingenuous to accept a sponsorship from both? No, because I've seen, I've seen people get like sponsored by three different VPNs. Yeah, you get a call from VPNs. VPNs, yeah. are hey. VPNs are good. VPNs are good. VPNs are useful. Unless you're on contract with one, you're allowed to work with them. I actually do have a Surf uh, Surfshark um, uh, subscription, and I actually do use it quite frequently to be able to find shows that I'm not able to watch uh, here in Canada. And I sound like an ad, but that's this, I, I literally do that. So Surfshark, <laughs> pay me again. Because I'm back at it! <laughs> back no. on my bullshit at 
slash just call us at 1-800-582-6825 slash nat19 official. <laughs> okay. DMS, though. <laughs> Go check our Patreon is really the overall theme of this. <laughs> oh. Manual brought to you by G Fuel. Falling out and better than ever. Alrighty. Uh, does anybody else have anything in particular they want to... Does anyone else say have anything mean to say? Um, no. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else has anything else that they want to. Nothing, nothing else to, to talk no. about. I don't think so. All right, I can sponsor by Project Mouthwash. You can find us at projectmouthwashcom slash 19 official Okay. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to figure out who's going to give us the recap for what happened last time. And I'm going to do this with the roll of a d6. Huh? Uh, that would be Spencer. Oh my god. Why? Oh. Because of the roll of a d6. The two here is why. Mm. It landed on me. I was gonna say if I show you my vaccine QR code, can I be accepted? <laughs> <laughs> Logan, if I show you my boobs, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that uh, that sentence that sentence auto corrected differently in my head. <laughs> oh right, I never uh, okay. saved. Did I save that? Yes, good. No? <gasps> yes, yes. Never mind. Ignore me. Go. Do it. Do the thing. Okay. Um. <laughs> well. Heckin, what happened last time? We, uh, the main thing that I remember is we were trying to make our way to where the, the Knights of Ulysses are, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were at a heckin, a mall, I think. I'm back and with mail. What? I had to go get stuff. I'm back, though. Oh, okay. Um... But yeah, we were going to the mall, and then Lilith was like, "Hey, what up? Let's race!" And we're like, "Sure, <laughs> <laughs> you got it, dude." <laughs> and then she's like, "Uh, uh also, uh, fucking, I'm gonna beat you up first before I go. I'm gonna cripple your legs before we, uh, before we race." And goodbye. And then she flew off, uh, leaving us with a bunch of a bunch of dudes to beat up. And then we did. And I don't remember what happened after that. I can't remember if we even went further than that. Pizza place. <laughs> pizza time. I don't remember. You, pizza robots. Place. you don't you remember the Five Nights Freddy. at Freddy's part? Oh, that part. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> 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 I didn't for a second. <laughs> it, it was the the, the Lilith thing that that really stuck with me. Well, um, what I'll say is, if, as far as things that happened last time go, uh, if I could choose for one thing to have stuck with you, it definitely would have been the story parts. So good. Yeah. <laughs> but I am surprised. I think, like, I think it was mainly because Lilith was like, let's race. I'm more like, sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> Flyer. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, this will go well for us. Uh, and... Yeah, we, we're at a pizza place now with a bunch of... It, it's a haunted pizza place. And... That's it? Is it? Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't possibly tell you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I could tell you. <laughs> and that's like the broad strokes, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, there you go. According to my notes, he's mostly correct. Oh, no, he got it all. I just... No, I, I just want to make. Want to sow the seeds of yeah. doubt. <laughs> I just like probably more happened, but it's not coming to me. <laughs> yeah, you guys ended off last session after you fought the animatronics of Rindal uh, and his compatriots, who had consumed a couple of you, and you found your way into defeating them. Uh, I want to ask, because I've forgotten at this point, did we resolve what you guys were doing with the chunk that you got from them? I don't uh, I think I thought remember. we were giving it to... Weren't we giving Hold it to on. a manual? Did I write it down? I don't think so, and it's been a while since I did the highlights. I don't remember. I thought because Arden couldn't really benefit from it. 
that yes, we were going to yes, give it to Yes, we Emmanuel. did decide to give it to Manny. We did. Yeah. You're right? You are very correct. Did he use it on anything? Did he I use it on... Oh, yeah, it's in my inventory. Shroud of Demonic Strength plus two. Um, did you use it on the collar? Did you yeah, use it I was going to bunk it on the collar. Uh, my main question is, have you already done that? Um, also, get out of here, this. Bam. Uh, Bastet's collar. Are you already plus two? Because if you're already plus two, that means we already did this. I totally forgot about this. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be at the end of the game. You're like, what do you guys plan on doing with it? And that was the intention. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we didn't. So I'm very quickly, I know this is a weird start to a game, but I'm very quickly going to deal with the stuff for that. Um, to be fair, and let's see, what is it? It's It bumps it up to plus... Uh, it increases its enhancement bonus. Uh, shield increasing its enhancement bonus to a maximum. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, increases it up to a maximum of plus two. Falling item upgrade could have been brought to you by Honey. True. <laughs> Hoda. I save you money and stuff. Or whatever. And doesn't, Maybe. Debatably. Doesn't, doesn't track your information or something. Um, yeah. Possibly. So I've, so, I don't I've know. so I've heard, and I've heard other things from other sources, but I'm sure that if they paid us, it would change our opinions. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> because we'd get to have a sit down and talk with one of their reps, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah they could yeah. learn more. <laughs> yeah, we would become educated <clears throat> more on the subject. Uh, learn more at. And we'd have an incentive. Something. Everybody be funny while I change these numbers, please. And learn more at website. Uh, Honey.com slash 919 official. It uh, could be a thing. It could, could be, be a thing. thing. So could like be. once upon a time, mm -hmm. I was small. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just once though. Just like, once. Like smaller? Yeah. Right. Like smaller. You're already pretty small. Were you a four foot little piece of shit boy? <laughs> I was a four foot little piece of shit boy yes. crawling through the walls looking for cheese. <laughs> Couldn't just ask for cheese. <laughs> the ring has no, no, it's wall. only in the walls. No, I just want wall cheese, Arden. It's the best kind I've heard because I can't taste things. Okay. And it looks no, like well, right. heard it from you. <laughs> looks like that's the extent of it. Um, it's just insulation. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she has five intelligence. She's just eating insulation. <laughs> All right. That was uh, one of the easier I'm ones sure to that's upgrade. Not good for you. So it's done. <laughs> and then we got to destroy that in your inventory, the shard. So you spend uh, that brief amount Yaw. of time fusing it with that. The collar becomes a plus two item. You now gain two extra charges, and the DC for everything the ring does is now increased by two. Which I'm sure will be good when you catch your friends in fireballs. Mm hmm. Alrighty. So, you guys are left in, uh, in Rindal's Pizzeria. And whenever you are, the lights are still flickering. The place seems a bit calmer now. There's a certain drone that was present before that doesn't seem to be happening now. Uh, you know that, uh, just as a refresher, since it has been a while since the last time we played, that your goal in coming here was to get into the back passageways that run along the, uh, like the service tunnels and whatnot that, uh, aren't open to the general public here, because those lead to the stadium, which is where you're going. With a small amount of exploration, you would find that at the back of the pizzeria, there is, in fact, an access way that leads in that direction. It is currently... 9 a.m. Friday, the 20th of June. And what a what a crisp June day it is outside. <laughs> Blizzards. Just peak June weather. Mm -hmm. Just over top of one of the of one of the animatronics just like I better be getting paid for this, Bertuccio. <laughs> you don't work here. Corporate sabotage. <laughs> exactly. Benny gets. <laughs> All right. That was the joke. Right. So, it's done. What? Is everyone alright? 
What are we doing with the with the other two knights? I thought we were carrying them. Are you yeah. carrying them? Okay. Put them yes. on that table right here. Uh, the one I was hiding under. Um, luckily these luckily these things didn't have any interest in them whatsoever. Oh, they're dead. Well, ish. Yeah. Dead adjacent. Come on, let's pick them back up. They're mostly dead. Okay. <clears throat> we should uh that way. Okay. Yeah. Up, 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 up. Away. Alright. Away. You guys head into the access tunnels. Uh, as you move, it's effectively just long hallways lined with concrete walls. Uh, it's a bit warmer in here compared to what it is outside, even without Marile's help. Uh, still pretty chilly, but it seems a bit better. Power in the entire place seems to be out, and there's a reddish glow from emergency backup lights that illuminate it as you move. It takes you guys about 20-30 minutes of navigation before you start to find signs and whatnot that point you in the direction that you want to go in this otherwise vaguely maze-like series of hallways. Uh, another five, ten minutes go by. There's no stirring from the Petal Knights. Or not the Petal Knights, that's, they're technically not. Uh, from the uh, Knights of Ulyssia that you are carrying with you. Until you eventually come to where you believe the entryway into the stadium should be. As you do, uh, from the darkness ahead of you, you guys hear the sound of what sounds like metal scraping on metal very briefly, the clicking of equipment, and what sounds like the resonant loading of two guns echoing down the hallways, as those of you that have the ability to see more than 60 feet or so would see at the end of this place, the hallway opens up a bit into a what looks like an almost uh, loading bay-like uh, area with a large set of um, shuttered doors that are currently closed. As you come close, you see two figures wearing the same uniforms as the people that you're carrying. Pointing guns, one male, one female. Uh, the, the woman looks to be a bit younger, uh, has vibrant, swept back hair. The man seems to be actually quite bulky. Uh, you would recognize both of these people, Gino. Mm. Uh, as you guys... Uh, Come to this area, you see them both point their guns forward, and just as you notice them, you hear from the large guys like, Hey, stop! Identify yourselves! Uh, uh, hi, it's Gino and Manny. Hi. See them squinting. You know that they can't see in the dark as well as you guys. There's still about 50 feet between you. You see the, the larger man aims his gun, kind of eyes squint almost painfully tight and he puts his hand over his eyes as if shielding himself from the light will somehow help him in seeing down the hallway yeah yeah i know that voice and i know that voice are you guys still sane yeah I oh yeah yeah you I, I, I feel like it, we are under breath what are they ever you would know this man uh, Gino, and probably you also as well, Emmanuel. Uh, you would know um, this man to be named uh, Catelyn, and you would know the oh, the younger woman to be named Adrian. They would have been in some of your oh, notes. Oh yeah. As they walk up, you see the guy kind of lower his gun. All right. Well, I was worried you're gonna be some crazy big old possessed suit of armor. Are there others like him? He like looks over to the other. I don't know. It's been weird here. Glad you made it yeah. back. Yeah, you guys seem like you're doing all right, kind of, and as good as you could be. <clears throat> the girl, like, spins the gun in her hand and holsters it. Well, we're doing okay. Not particularly well. Most of the hundred knights that were with us before are super in the ground. We didn't have much hope we'd see you come back. Well, I had a lot of help for gestures to the others. Hello. Hiding behind Arden. Hi. <laughs> Winks in their general direction. I believe we have a couple of couple of yours. Motion to Gina. Yeah, he's just like holding one of them over his shoulder. And brings the other one forward as well. Oh, yeah, we were wondering where they were. They went out a while ago and, uh... Man, I feel like we're saying this a lot. I guess we assumed they were dead. Oh, jeez. Are they okay? They um, are, unfortunately, 
not. Ah, they're Looney Tunes. Yeah, they were like possessed or whatever by Lilith. Uh, so that's a bad time. Ah, uh, the girl like walks up closer to you guys. Oh, Lorian and Catalina. And that leaves only about ten of us left. We didn't know what you would want to do with them, so we brought them back as best we could. Well, I guess you should come inside and we'll, um... We don't really have anything like an infirmary, but there's some locker rooms attached to this place that we... Uh, sort of set up to treat people, but since there's not that many people here, they haven't been used all that much. Maybe if we get them in there and let them get some rest, they'll be better? Maybe? Might be best to keep, to keep them locked keep away. Keep objects away from them. <laughs> yeah. Is that a demon? You just see Theo, oh. the larger guy, who by this point you know has a kind of simple way about him. Um, you see him, like, looking, like, walks over to just about near Arden, who he stands about half a foot taller than. He is a large man. Well, and he, like, he's just leaning around you, like, hands on his hips. Hey, you got a demon with you. Uh, yeah, this is, this is my friend Fianula. She's real nice. She's very, uh -huh. very strong. We're gonna watch the Mighty Duck movies. Bye. Hey. Are you, uh, so you're, uh, you're a good demon. <laughs> she, one of the best. If she wasn't, how would she respond? Yes, you're right, I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I wasn't, you'd probably try to kill me, right? Hmm. Feels like... Yep. Like Puts hand his hand his out to you. Luckily, you say you are. <laughs> um, I like this guy. Holding on to He's like the good. back of Arden's vest and just slowly reach out my hand. Tempted to detract, but this is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, my name is Catelyn. Never met a good demon before. What's up? Except Gino. I don't know if you're a demon. Okay, yeah. Sorry if that was insulting, say, Gino. Nice to meet you. Um, Fianula. Nice to meet you, too. Hmm. You, you, your people usually don't like me, so... Hi. Hi. Yeah, we normally kill you. Yeah. I yeah. know. Well, this has gone well. He turns and he walks back towards the door. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys are all in the up and up! As he goes by, he hits a very large button on the door. The shutters move slowly and begin to raise up, and you see uh, the glow of what looks like a very large area, the inside of the stadium, the, the playing field of this, uh, this sports arena uh, through there. You guys might as well go in. Oh. You probably got a lot to talk to Adric about, huh? Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Who? Oh, he's one of the dudes in charge. Oh, right. Yeah, he's tough. So you want us to just drop these people off in a... Yeah, place up you can here? leave them with me. Changing room? Okay. Get a wheelbarrow? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you guys are gonna love Adric. He's one of the best demon hunters in the world. He's killed so many. You guys will get along super well. Steps back, getting <laughs> getting around uh, <laughs> Marile and Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> Fio just kind of like buries her face in the back of Arden's like vest. Like, yeah. Now she's Sounds just like, it's a good. Now she's like, maybe it's a good thing I didn't detract. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, you you are staying within arm's reach of me. That is correct. Good job. Anyway, <laughs> as you. Uh... As you guys do, he takes both of them, just one over each shoulder. Can't emphasize enough. This is a very large, jock-like individual, uh, betrayed mm -hmm. by the very eloquent dress of uh, that the Knights of Ulyssia uh, dress in. He turns, he starts walking with both of them. Uh, uh, Adrian 
just references to you guys. I'll stay here. Someone's got to make sure that no demons try to break in. As well as murder the faces off of any that try. And she, like, reloads her already loaded gun. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go on in then. Get the thing. Get the, the emphatic reload. <laughs> that looked redundant. It's so cool. No, it's pointless, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this revolver. It just you can't do it. What am I gonna do? Open the chamber, spin it, and close it. Just looks like I'm playing Russian roulette. <laughs> <laughs> no, they worked with a shotgun or a pistol. <laughs> Some bigger rifle. I mean, that says what day to day. Also, have revolvers. That's you're describing what she did. Ah, oh, she's weird. Her <laughs> <laughs> mind is not as cool anymore. Yeah, I guess uh, make our way in. All right. As you guys head in, you notice as you pass by Adrian that she has uh, something you haven't seen before, Gino and um, Emmanuel. She has this leather strap wrapped around, like tightly around uh, one of her arms, around her bicep. Uh, that appears to have these copper and gold rings also wrapped around it with this, what looks like faint circuitry moving between it. You recognize the the make of it, the craftsmanship, to be very similar to um, stuff you've seen Ovette make in the past. But uh, hmm. you know, see that present, you notice another one of them is also present on uh, Catelyn as he walks away. As you guys okay. walk, as you guys walk in, the stadium is a very large nice. sports arena. Uh, it is complete with thousands of seats for spectators. Uh, there's the usual expected dugouts that opposing teams would play in, which are currently not in use. Obviously, there's a large what? canopy overhead uh, that would uh, protect the place from weather normally, but has been sealed over. And you notice that even though the temperature here is actually fairly mild, uh, you see that the canopy not only appears to be closed. But there is a film of ice and large uh, stalagmites hanging down from it, as if the ceiling in here is still freezing cold. That is, of course, a couple hundred feet up from here. Among the stands, oh, you see you. pockets of what look like uh, civilians, just random people, uh, huddled around the area. Blankets over most of them. Most of them are lying down. Some cans of food and whatnot, and the entire place is illuminated by the dull glow of emergency power, making it so that everything is in dim light, but nothing is super bright. There's a very uh, dreary tone that hangs in the air. The air itself is crisp. When you breathe out, you still feel like you're outside on a winter's day, but it is survivable. And as you walk around, you hear the buzzing of these large uh, machines that have been constructed in different shapes that appear to be set up uh, in on a perimeter around the stadium that as you come by them and leave them you can tell that they are heating the area and they appear to be made out of loose elements that were probably found around here. The place you're directed to is a large two-tiered concrete structure for observers, uh, for commentators, uh, what have you, just a, an extra a uh, large building that is set within the stadium that overlooks the arena that you can see faint lights are on in. You see the crackling of what almost appears like the light of a welding torch inside the first floor of it. And uh, that is effectively the description of this place. It's much more calm than any place you've been so far, but still dreary and just barely getting by. Mm. <clears throat> I will be extremely alert, <laughs> looking around. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Where is Adric? Um, I don't know. Is no. Caitlin still around? There's or? a few. Uh, he no. headed off towards the other side to take them to mm -hmm. one of the, uh, basically going to one of the uh, tunnels sur surrounding the beside the dugouts to take them to one of the locker rooms, as he mentioned. Uh, he will, as he goes in, he will have directed you towards the large, con uh, the large concrete structure and be like, Yeah, you want to go over there? Okay. He's on the top Danger. floor. Good to know. Thanks. And starts making his way that way. <laughs> Alrighty. As you do, you walk in silence through the center of it. You guys see no more than... Um, Maybe another six, seven Knights of Ulyssia, people wearing the same outfit, the same suit, the same 
uh, leather uh, bands around their arms, moving around the area. You see most of them seem to be tending to the people who are here. But you know that when you came to this city, both Colleen and Adric had a hundred knights each under their command, and that appears to have been reduced to about a tenth of that under Adric's command here. Ooh. You guys make your way to it. You walk up the stadium steps uh, to make your way to the second level concourse, and then you head your way into the first floor of the large concrete, um, we'll call it the We'll call it the observatory for now. I don't actually know the proper term for that specific thing in a stadium. We're going to call it the observatory. Observation deck. That's what we're calling it. It's the observation <laughs> deck. All right. Hey. If anyone knows the name of that thing I'm talking about, let me know. Um, if anyone understands <laughs> the sports terms. Yes. If any of you have ever been to a... Or the venues. Sports ball game. <laughs> As you head into the main floor, you see that uh, you see a large area that looks like it had been separated by uh, dividers and whatnot. It appears to have been cleared out into one central area that has been repurposed into a workshop. Within it, you see machinery that's been taken apart. You see a couple cars that have been dragged in here and dismantled entirely. And you see a figure with a welding torch uh, back turned to the lot of you, a female figure with uh, spiked up relatively wild hair despite their old age, pair of goggles on, they appear to have a, a gas mask on as well, humming to themselves uh, as they continue to work. You see another female figure who is, again, very, um, very tall, very muscular, uh, moving around big pieces of machinery. You would know these people to be Ida and Ovette, uh, Gino. Mm. As you continue forward, you hear that the uh, Ovette is humming to themselves, uh, don't stop me now, my queen. <laughs> As you do, they appear to be constructing another one of the heating units. One of you, your foot grazes against a piece of metal. It resounds and reverberates out through the area, and they stop. They turn, and you see this lovely individual. Hey! Ah, I love that! Ah, I look it. <laughs> They turn over to you, the gas mask placed up against their face, giving them a, a strangely, almost surgical, um, plague doctor meets mechanic-esque look whenever they turn towards you, and they reach up, they pull it down, and you see a big smile cross their face. Emmanuel! <laughs> Gino! Uh, hey, over it! How's it going? <laughs> she, like, puts the welding torch down, walks over to you, like, arms out. Hey. This woman who's half your size tries to wrap her arms around you. Doesn't really <laughs> manage to. Hey, how are you doing in here? I'm doing abs I'm doing absolutely terribly. As are all of us. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably a dumb question. Uh Hi. Hey, I'm very glad to see you made it back. Yeah, um, things are fucking awful. Um, got some news for you, you mm -hmm. might be excited about. Um, but, uh, Adric's up, right? We gotta go meet with him. Uh, yeah, yeah, he hasn't re up? As in, like, awake? As if, as if that man oh, ever up, sleeps? Up, upward. Oh, yes, vertically? He's up there. Yeah, okay, cool, yeah. How did you manage to make it back? We barely managed to wander around for more than a few hours in that blizzard. Uh, well, got, uh... She's really hot. Uh, she, well, yes, she is. Over there, it points to Marile. <laughs> She's got a ball of fire that's it's really warm. not wrong. Yeah. The winter blizzard is cold and unforgiving, but my bosom is warm and comfy. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> She's also not. You all got here in this lady's bosom? They uh, right? It wouldn't surprise me, but no. Um <laughs> she's... So like if uh if we were in like the day after tomorrow, she's like the fireplace that somehow stops us all from instantly freezing to death. Mm hmm She radiates heat. <laughs> you see really them, hot. You see them nod with understanding at you, Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes. Oh no. Of course. 
All right. Oh, no. Well, oh, it's no. very nice to meet all of you. My name is Ovette Milewile. I am a researcher that works with the Knights of Ulyssia. I'm a little bit of a big deal around these parts, but feel free to address me entirely informally. I'm very happy to see more survivors. Abuelita. Nice to meet you. You're a demon. It's, uh, it's I'm true. Sorry. It's a big, it's a big no, cock Don't be piece. sorry. That's all right. He's a demon too. Yeah. I fixed Hi. him after all. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure I can fix you too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need fixing, but um, um, I'm Theonula. Hi. Raise the Fix hand. them up a nice cup of cocoa. Oh, do you have any? Oh, no, I looked. Uh -huh. We're going to get pizza, too, and we never did because the stupid robots attacked us. Yeah. You were That's scary. You were attacked by know. robots? Where are they? Did you bring them back? No, no they were... We broke them. They're over in the pizza place, but uh, I don't were, know how useful they were. They were animatronics that were uh, taken over by demonic forces. They. Hmm. Arden really fucked one of them up. It was really cool. I did. You did. I think. I think Can't so. Remember. It looked pretty <laughs> fucking broken, dude. Honestly, when you look at the reviews, maybe they were always possessed by demons. You know, maybe. People thought they were, they were fucking scary. my boss. He'd uh, he'd agree with you. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Well, you're a demon. You're a. Well, I know you two, and uh, the... you're apparently a stove. How about the rest <laughs> of you? What's your story? Gino wouldn't hang out with just anybody. A regular delivery boy. You're carrying a devil arm! <laughs> I found it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. Many people Not you know. Yeah. They yeah, turn entirely it. away from you. They, uh, their eyes move and they, like, look at you, Arden. Uh, what up? Uh, hi, I'm Arden Doyle. Um, I'm, uh, part of a, uh, an order. Or I used to be uh -oh. part of the order. Um, which, which order was I part of? Sanguine Heart. In our, in, our, in our profession, usually when we meet people who start their introduction with, hello, I'm part of an order and they hunt demons, it very rarely goes well for both sides. All right. I mean, we're sort of on the same. So Also, my order was kind of wiped out. So. It's just him and another really cute girl. Mm -hmm. They're ah. both very nice. Is it you? Uh, no, I, I'm not part of the order. Well, she is very cute. So. Oh, but I just think so. We, are, we, we will rebuild your order with a bunch of cute girls, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> um, I don't think we have to do that. <laughs> All right, do you, you want to join up? Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I also have a devil arm, and Arden has one, and um, so so does Gino, and and so does Manny. <laughs> Everyone but me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, has one too, but it's like inside her boobs. I don't really know how it works, but it's it's in there somewhere. I wouldn't say it is in my bosom. It's more like one of those Benwawa balls deep inside me. It's hard to reach unless you are there. A Benwawa ball? What? That's going to make it hard oh. to research. Yup. See the goggles on them? There's like little... uh lenses just come around the edge as if it causes them to like squint you notice these goggles there's actually light coming out of the uh the front of them this pinkish light <laughs> i think i'll I think i'll pass on that one i think i don't know how to get it out that's <laughs> alarming uh, i'm so sorry um... <laughs> <laughs> I just say as she's like talking over toward um uh, toward um uh, uh, Marley. Remember the the cute girl we mentioned before, where she said uh, maybe we shouldn't let them know everything we have. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. No, I, I got this cool know. shield. Oh, and he pops amazing. it out on his arm. We are still the beans, but maybe in the future with other people, we don't say everything. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Listen, man, it feels like it's been like a month, all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I understand. I can barely remember. Very harrowing experience. Is. It feels as if we've been here for months. I understand. I need to... <laughs> yeah. You, you met the girl with the, uh, the, the weird um, briefcase, right? The glowy one? Oh, yes, I did. And she managed to get away. Yeah, she she talked about about meeting you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, she she was creeped the fuck out and ran away. That sounds like a whole lot of her problem. I wanted to look at a briefcase. <laughs> I did too, and she like let me hold it for a sec, and then it went like dark. Well, I'm sure she's off telling weird. people that you also creeped her the fuck out. How rude! How rude! Right? Very rude. I, I mean, if you were around with us, I got her distracted for about an hour. You could have researched it then. <laughs> oh. I I can do it again. We just got to go find her. Hmm. I don't <laughs> we think we have her. time. We came here for a different reason, right? Yeah. Like... Oh, you want to distract her out there? What? Do you want to take a turn distracting her, Ardy? No. <laughs> no. As, uh, as Arden's lawyer, I don't think he should respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> What's a lawyer? <laughs> exactly, all laughing a lawyer. And I don't know what we're laughing about. <laughs> Me neither. I'm yeah. right with you. Yeah, well. <laughs> What's uh, the, the bok choy ball? So, Gino, once this is all over, I'm going to need you to turn over that shield. I'm sure you understand. Um, once what's all over? Uh, this whole catastrophe we're in. Oh, uh, sure. And also, so all of you, uh, I, I assume you all understand your devil arms and whatnot. You're going to have to, once once the apocalypse has ended, I will need you to turn those over to us. I'm not from here, so no. Um, also, should we tell her that, um, you know, Lilith's on her way and stuff? Right! Lilith's on her way, we gotta warn Adric. Yeah. Alright. But you will have to turn that stuff off. I'm, I'm not gonna fight you about it now, I'm just saying you're gonna have to do it. Of course, um, of course, well, definitely, definitely, come on, let's go. <laughs> no. Uh, let's go find of course this Adric person. Hi. <laughs> Alright, talk to you later. Gino, you have told as you guys walk away, you have told them what we do, right? I don't know, whatever. Uh, sure. <laughs> you know, we're inside of. I, I, I know they we're inside of their base. We don't want to anger them. And, I'm uh, not gonna give the demon killers my stuff. I understand. It's called lying, Fionula. We well, we lied to them. <laughs> I just told them no. I'm not, I'm not giving them my stuff. But anyway, let's go find Adri. <laughs> you're already, you're already the, the, the most in danger out of these people. You are, you are already the, 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 the most in danger. <laughs> Do you don't know? <laughs> well, you... Okay. <laughs> no, no, come on. No, so we go find Adric. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm a delivery boy. I will deliver Fiona out of this place. <laughs> I don't know whose these were, but I stole someone's taquitos. Uh, she knows that she can't take my ring off, right, Gino? Yeah, I mean, everyone here knows that. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you two. I feel like you two probably have spent time with each other, just given the energies. Yeah, <laughs> I love how she understood the movie reference. Thing. She's seen movies. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's seen a lot of movies. It's just like out of everything we said, it's just like looks to Manny, like nods and understands. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, I understand that. <laughs> As you guys head up to the next floor, you arrive in an area that would be used for commentators, you know, producers, uh, people that are involved in running the stadium, looking out at it during games. But it has again largely been cleared out. A couple of beds have been set up in the area that seem to have been refashioned from uh, pillows and whatnot that are around. Uh, there's a couple of desks that remain. As you walk in, you see the back of a figure who is wearing, um, looks to be the same general uniform that you've seen everybody else wearing uh, in the Knights of Ulyssia, except theirs, uh, they also have this blue cloak that is very similar to Geno's, uh, that is wrapped around them, which those of you in the Knights of Ulyssia would know is a sign that you are one of the Ten Petal Knights, the, those who, uh, run and are the highest standing members of the Knights of Ulyssia. 
There's a very large emblem on the back of it with gold lining running from it out to the edges. Uh, there's a pauldron binding it on one of their shoulders, and the other, this large black plume of feathers covers the right shoulder. The figure initially looking out at the stadium back to all of you. You can see the back of their head. They have um, uh, brown hair that's been swept back. They turn, and they look at a lot of you. And I'm going to just throw this at you. Kaboom. Oh. Hey. So handsome. Hey. It's a hacking boy. Seems we have survivors. You sure hey, do? It's good to see you, Gino. Hey, likewise. Um. Hey, uh. Gotta cut right to the point. Um. Lilith is coming. Here. Right now. Yeah. I just thought you should probably know about that. We've encountered so that, that before. Okay. And you have ways to deal with her? There are certain wards that are set up here that should stop demons from being able to enter directly. Mm. Like your run-of-the-mill so demons, or like your demon lord kind of demons? Like any demon that gets in here is going to have to make themselves very known. Right. So what I'm hearing is we won the race. Sounds like it. Good. Okay. We have tried before to get into that large structure that popped out of the ground. When we did, we were chastised and insulted by the voice of a woman who hid within the snow. They introduced themselves as Lilith. If they'd wanted to get us by now, I feel like they'd already be in here. That's weird. Good to know that you uh, are secure. At yeah, I mean, it's... you can be. So I know you two. My name is Adric Blackspring. I am under better circumstances. I could introduce myself as the head of a hundred of these Knights of Ulyssia, but our numbers have been dramatically reduced. <clears throat> Who are you? Oh, well. Look, gestures over. <clears throat> Survivors, thanks to your men here, we are uh, just coming here for safety. Mm. Name's Arden. They are collectively Arden. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Good to meet you, Ardens. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> so. I guess we're Ardens now. <laughs> the Ardens. Well, if I must introduce myself, then I must say my name is Marie in Justice. I know now. I know now that for many men, leading a big party that has been shrunk to a little bitty bit is very, very stressful. And so I bet you, my cars, my services. And what services relieve, would those be? Relieving stress. You would find it very hard to do that for me. <laughs> Is that a challenge? The fate of every life in this stadium rests on my shoulders. Unless you have a real suggestion. Kindly. <laughs> <sighs> he, like, puts his hands up and he rubs his temples. My God. Sorry. Eh? I'm being curt. I don't mean to be. That's okay, my God. What? My card. Your card? My number. <laughs> You're like holding one out to him? Yes. <laughs> he takes it. He very much locks eyes with you. There's a very no-nonsense look on his face as he takes it, without breaking eye contact, moves it, and sets it on a desk next to him. <laughs> There's a very nonsense look on her face, and she's just grinning, <laughs> looking at him. <laughs> Does it say what she does on that card? <laughs> I think he's figured that out. 
<laughs> I'm just curious. It's warm around you. I've been told I have a very welcoming present. They give nice devil. hugs. Are you a demon? No, no, that's a devil item. Hunt. Yes. What kind of item? I, I I just said it was a devil arm. Ah, I'm oh, sorry. Several of you talked at once, which sometimes makes it hard to understand people when they do so. You have a devil arm. Hmm. And looks to the rest of you. And you're all well armed as well. So Wouldn't survive if we weren't. Are these more than just civilians, Gino? Uh, they're very, very good fighters, the lot of them. Um, uh, we'd probably not be here if they weren't with us. So, compatriots? Allies? I don't suppose you encountered Colleen or any of Colleen's men while you were out? Um. Nuh uh. I don't, are the two we brought in. There were two we brought in, uh, of Katarina and Lorian, I think they said their names were. I don't know if those are hers, but... No, they're mine. Oh. Uh, they are, uh, a little worse for wear. They were being manipulated by this, uh, Lilith. We tried bringing them back in however many pieces we could afford to, uh, but we still don't know how well they are being awake. They're in one piece. We just hit them on the head really hard. Yeah. Mm. Based on knowledge we have of the demon world, Lilith is the progenitor of all succubi and most lust demons. If they got their hands on two of our men, I imagine it'll be hard to break them free from it. I mean, <sighs> kill Lilith. Would that do it? Well, that's the idea. That's what we'd want to do. We're trying to hold things down here. We need to debrief. Tell me everything that happened to you. Uh, yeah. Um. How much time do you have? As long as it takes. Okay, so. We were walking down the road, just having a chat about the mission. And then we went around the back. And I was like, all right, I got this, Gino. And he's like, I trust you, bro. And I was like, thanks. And so I tried to use the ring to get inside the building, but it blinded me. Um, so that wasn't very useful. So we went in the front door. Um, that was probably the better option to go with at the beginning, in hindsight. Um, and we met everyone else here because they were hiding poorly behind curtains. I shot some glass. We got some things from behind it. They got mad at me for shooting the glass because they didn't realize it was awesome. Um, Does he have any we... chairs in this office? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm... Body Lay was, I was like, I... Ask, like, he has a desk, right? Yep. <laughs> she was just gonna freaking like splay herself pinup girl style on this goddamn desk. As soon as you try to walk, as soon as you try to walk toward that desk, I am going to try to keep you in place. <laughs> Adric looks no, to be listening attentively but judgmentally as you continue to talk. <laughs> we went downstairs. We saw this old guy. He had a sword. He knew him, but I didn't know him. And he said something about something. And then he uh, he did he said a something thing. about something. Uh huh. And then there was an earthquake. Um, <laughs> and then we all fell down a hole. You went down into uh, a basement on the mission where you were sent to the Roland exhibition. You found a man yes. who wasn't supposed to be there who said something about something. And then all these things came out of the and ground. And then, then the apocalypse started. Yep. And yep. then. Could you go uh, ahead and just for me, real quick, could you just recount what that something about something was, please? Uh, Arden. Fuck, what was it? Yeah, Arden. It was, it was you know, what was it? What did he say? He knows Arden. Uh, right. <laughs> you know uh, the man who caused all of this? Uh, I, I, would think, I don't think he mm -hmm, caused he does. it. I he, think he, he knew him. it was coming. He knew him by name. He said it out loud when we bumped into him. I'm not like friends or anything, though. He's a really bad man and Arden's a really good person. 
It's it gets true. kind of tense. I think they like had a fight or something. Uh, kids, right? <laughs> he was he's the guy who killed his whole order, so I think he's they're not on good terms. His order? <laughs> yeah, the order of the the um the sac saccharine saccharine heart? Of the sanguine right. heart. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I've heard of you. He killed all of them? I wouldn't have thought of it from just your name, but you're Arden Doyle, aren't you? Uh-huh. That's him. That's him right there. That's your full name. <laughs> Do I have to say anything? Do you have a bigger <laughs> name? <laughs> I know about you. You're a freelance demon hunter. I... And according to some intel, you're a demon. Uh, not like a full demon. <laughs> More of just, uh... Listen, this whole demon thing was kind of forced upon me. Yeah, I bet. I was bold. Aye. All right. You what? And another member of your order <laughs> caused all of this to happen. Or knew it was going to happen. Uh, right, yeah. Talk. Uh, hold on, I have to bring up my journal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> give me a sec. Uh, While all this is going down, it's just like Nicolas in the back, in the back, like making sure Marley doesn't get on the fucking table, but also just like, well, we couldn't, we can't just lie. Come no, on, guys. Pero no tiene nada. ¿Por qué no me puedo We're not. Get, you're not going to do that. This is the worst place to do that. But he's so stressed. <laughs> I don't care about him. <laughs> As you guys squabble, he is laser focused on whoever he's talking to at any given moment. <laughs> um, there's a stillness to this human that uh, seems almost unnerving given the situation. It's very unnerving. <laughs> it's uh, laden, right? Yes. Um, yeah. I'm trying to keep track of all these names. Um, uh, his. Arden, have you considered lying? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? He is no, such a good actually, boy. Look at fair. him. <laughs> Even as I pose on this desk, he does not You're bat not an eye. On the, desk. <laughs> the, the cat's a bit out of the bag at this point. The cat is running around the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, Emmanuel's running around. That's Manny <laughs> running around the room. <laughs> the cat's on him, Man probably. <laughs> Manny and Marile are running around the room. <laughs> it's not. No, I, I, uh, she is definitely not. She's on the desk. <laughs> No, you're, you're not. <laughs> so Arden. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, his name is Leiden Stratum. You know, you've probably heard of him as well. I have. Given who you are, he's the one who uh, is responsible for destroying our order, uh, destroying the Sanguine Hearts. And he's the one who, you know, he, I believe he helped in the, you know, the apocalypse. I see. It's been like two months since the fucking conversation mm -hmm. with, uh, <laughs> with her and when she gave me all the information about Leyden as well. So I'm trying to remember off the top of my head and it's not going well. Um... Heck. What did she? What did she tell him? Uh, tell Arden about uh, about Layden, about his involvement with the, specifically with his involvement with the uh, um, the apocalypse stuff. He um, Theo will like kind of peek out from behind Arden. I got you, bro. Thanks, dude. I got you. Um, from from what I remember. Arden explaining, um, Leiden was, was like trying to contact, um, M Mundus, really, really bad demon, and, um, he, uh, he, he managed to get in contact with him, and, um, I see. He, he like, made a deal 
or something where he had to um, destroy Arden's order and, and let demons kill everyone and in order to like get power and stuff um but 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 Arden, Arden didn't do anything wrong he he, he has nothing to do with the bad stuff Layden's doing. Um, it, it's all Layden. Just Layden trying to get power from Mundus. Now, Mundus is really, really big and bad, and he, he was probably gonna yes. try to come back through, and, and Veilfar's here, and, and it just... We know. It's okay. And we know Mundus. Hmm? Our order... <sighs> U Ulyssia, the progenitor of it, the one that we formed our order around, was involved in an ancient battle against Mundus. They're a core figure in our beliefs. We were basically formed as part of a resistance to fight back against them. Not us, literally, obviously, but those who came before us. They were defeated a long time ago when sealed away by Sparta. They've tried to get out before, but a certain other devil hunter that we have our eyes on, who goes by the name of Dante, stopped him from getting out. It makes sense that he'd continue to try to get out. He is currently sealed away inside of a place called the Malay Vault, a subdimension between spaces. It used to exist on an island that would appear in random places in the world, till Dante pushed him back in and destroyed the island. So this laden stratum came here and is kicking things off to try to get Mundus out from the Malay Vault, somehow, is what you're telling me. Right. Uh-huh. And all of you are involved in this? We were happened to be around whenever everything went down with them. What are your plans? You all seem capable. Stop I was them. going to ask you, uh, you had said that you were trying to stop all of this. We obviously would love that to happen as well. I wanted to know what you thought you could do to the spire that has appeared in the middle of this city. I see. And in the other two cities around it. Yeah, we got rid of the first one. You got rid of it? Yeah. We didn't get but, rid of it, but we did well, stabilize it. sucked it back into the demon world or whatever. No, it's here. <laughs> Is it here? Oh, it's it was here. gone. No. <laughs> no, it's not gone. In fact, it fired a giant no. chain out into the middle of the bay. The oh. Well, then idea, what Beckett said. You, the uh... idea that we know of it is they are balancing themselves between three different realms. And if you climb to the top, you can try to stabilize it in one or the other. And, of course, if you want to make sure that you also are there, you'll need to stabilize it here. But it calms everything down. Off to the west, there was another one, and we had taken care of it, and it caused everything to be less violent. Though, being I cut it off from the frost hell, I assume. We can do the same, but we need to make sure we can get to them. We had tried to approach the one that was here when we got to its base, but whenever we did, we found that there was no way to get inside of it. How did you get into the last one? Oh, oh um... Points at Gino. Yeah, Ray like raised his hand like, a bunch of metal eyeballs looked at me and then uh, was like, welcome, and then the door opened. Yep. Oh. And then it was telling me that, like, um, you know, d d repairs needed or something. 2,000 years have passed or something like that. Oh, so it's been sealed away for about the same amount of time that the battle against Mundus took place. That he was sealed away. I'm sure that's unrelated. It's not. I've been told I'm bad at sarcasm. I'm sure it's related. Okay. Oh. Well... If you can get in, then that's good. Just to keep you abreast of what's happened here, since we've already told you there's fewer of us. 
You know that we sent you to investigate the Roland exhibit, because demonic armors and the like had shown up there. Yeah. While you were gone. When the eruption happened, we were already split into different groups. Uh, we were here, investigating where to find the archaeologist who threw together that exhibit. The person who goes by the name Takumi Roland. We thought we would track down their business partners. All a hundred knights were here in this city. But when the eruption happened, the only ones who survived were the ones who were already within this shopping center. So it's only the ones that you've seen here. Ever since then, we've wanted to take action, but... We've been stuck trying to take in anyone we can to keep them warm. The plan is that after we fortified this place, we would take the... Half of the remainder of the knights who are here. And head for New St. Cheshire. That's where... Colleen went to, and we don't know how well they're doing, but... I trust that Colleen is probably fine. They went to investigate where Takumi Roland specifically was. We believe that we need to find that individual, that they're connected to everything that's happened here, since they're the one that made that exhibit. So our long-term plan is we need to track them down and ask where the dig site is, where they got all the stuff they put in that museum. If you're willing to help us with that, we could probably make some progress. Yeah, anything that helps. The main thing we need to do is we need to make this blizzard go away. We hadn't thought that to be possible, but if you could get inside that large structure and if you could cut it off from the frost hell, we'd be a lot more comfortable leaving a few people to take care of the people here, and then we could head to St. Cheshire. There's one issue that's working against us, which is that, initially, he like looks out the window and he points over towards the far side of the canopy, where you see there's a section that's been boarded up. It looks like it's been destroyed to a degree uh, and then was repaired. When we got here, we initially encountered one thing that we couldn't quite handle. There was a demon that goes by the name Lucifer, based on what we know of it. It used to be the Lord of the Frost Hell a long time ago. It attacked us with rose-like swords. And it almost killed us. But then it heard the voice of a demon, Valfar. And it left, without finishing us off. He didn't return. But that worries us, because that means that if they went Colleen's way... I don't think that whatever they have at their disposal could stand up against him on their own, so... We want to get there and meet up with them before Lucifer decides to take them out. Well, all right. How how long ago did did Lucifer attack? That was um, when we heard him calling out. I think that was like less than a day ago. Right? It's a bit hard to tell time without access to the sun. Everything's pretty dark, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Within a day and a half, a day ago, maybe. Okay. If you see them, it's this an angelic knight like demon. They stand, must be 10, 12 feet tall. You wouldn't miss them. And they're highly verbose. They'll be sure to introduce themselves if you meet, I'm certain. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna stay on my desk? <laughs> I tried to stop her. She just would Do you I... want me not on it? I don't want it you on like... it. You can stay there if you want, but it, it's just. It seems unrelated to what we're doing. <laughs> because, oh, you know what? That's that, that to me, and I won't say that. The work you're doing is so important. Yes. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Do you need the desk? Not really. If you're comfortable, then stay where you are. Again. I like what I'm hearing. He rubs his temples again. That, and we also have the issue of the Order of the Sword. 
What was what, that? They've been giving you problems. What was that uh, highly Ma Molly, emphasized noise Ma you just Molly made? Nae, Molly Nae, what, I'm, I'm just the, 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 she's on the deck. No, no, you, you went, you went, you went. Eh. You did. We saw one of the. Like one of the of an anime. You did it like one of Emmanuel's animes. What was that? I did. I did not. I. I. I was. Uh, I was. Uh, the aneurysm coming from the. Uh, the. The. the uh, messing with. What were you he's saying? He's probably just like really into Marile, and he's kind of jealous that she's flirting with you, right? But speaking of uh, Order of the Sword, we saw one of the helicopters, and we were like in a cave and shit. We were like hunting a bull that was on fire, which is how Marile is so on. But that's a whole other story for another time. But there were like a bunch of dead Order of the Sword dudes, and that's how I got this. <laughs> I'm just like moving around in my little cloak. That was but, surprisingly. But yeah, they're like in a helicopter. That was surprisingly the most information any of you have delivered in a short period of time. Thank you. <laughs> we had Yo, a what? helicopter what? making their way to this part of the city, actually. What kind of information do you have on it? The Order of the Sword. We know who they are. We know what they want, roughly. We don't know exactly why they're here, but for a very long time. They are like... Our deranged shadow. The Order of the Sword also started because of Sparta. No kidding. Our order was... founded when Ulyssia was spared by the great demonic warrior Sparta when he awakened to justice. And sided and spared with Ulyssia who had fought him to a standstill. He was a just demon. One of the few. The Order of the Sword also worships Sparta. They worship him as a god. And they strive towards a corrupt version of demonhood. This is a secret to most people. They operate off of an island that they keep sequestered away from the rest of the world, accessible only by air travel. But we know. They've been doing experiments into trying to turn people into demons for a long time. And they worship a being called the Savior. We don't know what it is exactly, but... We know that it has some foundation... ...in demonic magic. The only Probably reason... Big. The Savior? Probably big. Well, it does sound like something that would be big. Hmm. But like, when you think of El Salvador, you think of someone grandiose and big and hulking. Sexy. <laughs> someone serious that you want to follow. <laughs> big is usually where you start. Just a guess. I Clop. agree. <laughs> Nicolo, have you seen <laughs> Death Note? This is the silence at him. <laughs> oh, um, what'd you say? Uh, have you seen Death Note? No. Oh. <laughs> Just like plop pose. <laughs> I will say, the Order of the Sword, for what it's worth, only tends to investigate places where they think they might find artifacts or reliquaries of Sparta. Which means if they're here, they must believe that something related to Sparta is also going on. Hmm. No clue what that could be. So you haven't run into them at all? We've seen some of their helicopters, but one of the reasons that we want to catch up with Colleen is that the majority of what we've seen is them heading for New St. Cheshire. If I had to pose a theory, whatever this dig site is, maybe there's something related to Sparta there, and they also want to find Takumi. I figured so it you out. Might you might learn more if we take care of the spire, then. Hmm. Good enough for me. DM, I have a question. Yes, player, what is it? Um, demon history question. Would I know of anything named the Savior, or would that ring any little no. demon bells in the brain space? Out, out of context in-game, the Savior was the big giant statue thing in Devil May Cry 4. Um, it's not an actual demon, it's a construct fueled by uh, certain demonic components. 
It's like a false god the Order creates. Order of the it, Sword Boys are weird. It has no history up until DMC4. Like if okay. someone took the Jesus in Brazil, yeah. that really big Jesus, and was like, you move now. Yep, basically. <laughs> Okay. I figured it out. I know. I know. I know it. I know it. You know what? what? Samurai Pizza Cats. That's the one you saw. <laughs> Is this true, Niccolo? Have you seen Samurai Pizza Cats? Uh, let's let's say we yes. have to get to the bottom and of this. Move. What let, what anime have yes you seen? <laughs> uh, which of which Sailor of the Moon? animes are you familiar with? Sailor Moon. Uh, is that is that a uh... <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I have seen so, like, Macross. Is that a show that like where a bunch of sailors like sail around at night? That's what moon? I was thinking, Arden. No, it's, it's a bunch of little. It's a bunch of girls uh, from high school who turn into. Are they on a listen. boat? Listen. Are they on a boat? No. No boat. Do they fight demons? Yes, actually. Oh. <laughs> they wear was, tiny uh... mini skirts. So like Useful you. research Thanks. material. Bunch of young Tiny women get together and fight evil by moonlight. Interesting. All right. So, out of, out saving of character, the world. Let's was, do this. <laughs> out of character. It was required for members of Order of the Sword to re to watch that out of character. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Good. All right. We've gotten to the bottom of it. The grown man has seen the show about young women dressing up in miniskirts and fighting evil and wandering the city at night. Perfect. So, there's a blizzard we need to stop. Angel's Light has a nerdy night, and they like when I play mm. the Mars one. <laughs> What was the thing you said? <laughs> we, um... Patrick. As things stand... Between the two of us, we've got a clearer picture of what's going on. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to take a while to ponder what we should do. If you're all willing to help, give me a while. Go relax. Take some time. <laughs> Raise your <their> hand. <laughs> yes. You need time to ponder, raise your hand, relax. <laughs> what? I'm telling you to go relax. <laughs> this one's a hard one and not in a good way, Nicola. It's a good way. It's 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 a very good way actually. <laughs> <laughs> you all go take some time uh, to yourselves. I'm going to discuss things with Ovet and some of the others and We'll see what we can do about this. We'll call you back once we can think of a way that we want to approach this, now that we have additional resources. At the very least, Gino, if you can get into that spire, I'm pretty sure we can be confident that's where you have to go. Yeah! We'll also make sure we keep an extra watch out for Lilith. If they said they were coming here, we'll make sure we're not caught off guard. Good. Yeah, really we're supposed to like race or something, so we got here first, I guess we won. Hmm. Is there anywhere in particular we should go? Wherever or you want. We the, we're trying to keep the area relatively heated. You want to go relax? Go ahead. If you need food or anything, some of the knights have found some rations. They could give some to you. I took someone's food when we were coming up here. Ah. <laughs> I see. That's where Kinda the feel bad about it. There's not a lot of that to go around. <laughs> I gotta go say sorry, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he's learning lessons. <laughs> it's about time. He's a growing boy. <laughs> he turns again. Faces out the window. The sword that you notice has been uh, you notice has been leaning against it. He kind of takes it, puts both of his palms on it, and stands vigilant and watchful over the stadium. Now take a load off. You all deserve a break. Okay. I'll let you know. Right. <clears throat> oh, and one more thing. As he's like walking out the door. In case Ovet would care, um, these spires have uh, Machiavelli's workshop in them, just so you know. And he just walks out the door. They have what? <laughs> Come back! <laughs> oh, 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 okay, I'm back. Those things right. are a dromalek. 
Is I, I don't I know what that what? word means. We were so close to leaving. <laughs> I didn't think it would make me that big of a thing. You see, it's the thing that controls the spires. Yeah, no. <laughs> Everyone says Machiavelli is a big deal. They well, were the greatest be. weaponsmith and inventor among all demons, and they were briefly involved in the struggle between Mundus and Sparta. They were the one who forged various weapons that Sparta left with us, including the ones that were used to seal the demon world from the human world, and they disappeared. From what we know, Sparta turned against them and sealed their workshop between both worlds. If those spires are their workshop, that means the tools in there might be able to remake weapons similar to those that were used by Sparta. Yeah. And I remember when I met this lady with a glowy briefcase, that uh, she was saying that I and that briefcase were both apparently made by Machiavelli. I mean, I knew I was made by Machiavelli, but apparently I was made out of the same stuff the briefcase was. Um, and maybe that's... I don't know what that really means for me but it lets me in I guess I see if a Dramalek could be used to remake a weapon like Yamato that could unseal Mundus this just became a much larger issue than this area this now has to do with the entire human world you see him looking kind of exhausted as he clearly thinks about this. Right, go relax. Thank you for letting me know that ahead of time. This is more urgent than we thought it was. Glad I said something. Okay, see ya, Bailey, later. Leave it. Let's go. Goes to leave. Bye bye. Goes back what? in, grabs Mari Lay, goes to leave. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he like sits, it's like the camera. She was like, still sitting on the desk, just like I waiting pick her up. I else. pick her up in my arms and we're leaving. <laughs> like, bye, bye, the camera's bye. on his face, he's frustrated. He sits down at the desk, she's still on it. No, no, <laughs> I'll take this. <laughs> Don't take my card! <laughs> Who is he going to call? Not the Ghostbusters! <laughs> That's basically us right now, Molly Lay. We are the Ghostbusters! <laughs> the minute that I wanted to call! Wow. Fun <laughs> 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 money. As they walk out the door, she just crosses her arms and hoofs. Pues, doesn't matter anyway. No creo que ni siquiera la Lady Lee les va a poder agarrar a este. If they could see you, have the things you say. <laughs> uh -huh. Hmm. <sighs> He's just playing hard to get. <laughs> Not the first, nor he will- you, you don't want him to- <laughs> I have to rebuild my clientele, they're probably all dead. Upsetting. I think he's gay. <laughs> he might like boys! Let's talk about this somewhat. Where did, where did Manny go? Manny! <laughs> I assume we had already left and we're just like filed. Yeah. As you guys walking. head off and you head to find Manny, it seems like we're around the one and a half hour mark. I'm gonna say let's take a break right here, real quick. Hey! Still carrying Marley. <laughs> you wanna get drinks and stuff? I can go ahead and do that. Wapow! That sounds like a good idea. Quick break. I love, I love like, the, the, whenever Arden brought up more stuff, it's just like, oh, can we not? And it's like, we, we oh, the cat's already out of the bag at this point. <laughs> he already knows Turn that. around. <laughs> so good. Oh, that like, doesn't make it <laughs> right. <laughs> there are no secrets among when, when with Emmanuel and Gino, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I just love... All right, so we need to make sure we do not tell them everything. Otherwise, we may be in trouble. All right, so here's a detailed chronicle of everything we've been to <laughs> up until this point. Check out my shield. I'll put it here oh. while I explain so you can look at it. Watch it. Can, mouth can open. <laughs> cool. June 17th, 2.40 p.m. <laughs> 
<laughs> the one, the one thing we heard from the woman with the briefcase is not to tell everything. You tell every, every single thing. Here's a picture with me. Here's a picture with me and Marnie taking a picture by the spire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we got a camera. But... This is why every game needs a selfie cam. God damn it! Ruining my. <laughs> My NPC run. <laughs> it's just a picture of like you with the camera up and you and Manny smiling with Inanna charging feet from you behind you straight <laughs> at you. Like a fucking Aaron Hansel style get Yeah, like it's exactly what <laughs> I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> this man's gonna ruin my goddamn hundred percent speed run. <laughs> <laughs> Always happy to see Aaron channel the Keanu blabbermouth energy. <laughs> Squeaky, it's fine. If you wanna, if you wanna sex him, you just have to take care. You just take care of the fire. He'll have less things to worry about. Then you get him. Speed run still going. Oh yeah, of course. It's just called going the other direction. Uh, clearly, he's like Garrus. You have to wait until the third game. <laughs> yeah. I have some calibrations to do. <laughs> Calibrate sword, these sword, titties! Sword vibrates. Mm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Mari Lee here, Garrus someone doesn't want to have sex with them, thinks about having to do all sorts of objectives to get there. Anna, my arc! <laughs> <laughs> this is the game for me! The <laughs> hero's journey! <laughs> my plot! <laughs> <laughs> my character went through massive change. <laughs> they, they went from not sleeping with Adric to sleeping with Adric, but realized like, that's not what they wanted all along. It's like I'm a whole new person. <laughs> the sexcellent adventures of uh, my life. Classic <laughs> hero's journey. When I... What, people have talked about, like, the NPC run. When I first saw freaking Ovet, I was like, no. No. How <laughs> <laughs> no. dare you? How oh, dare you? How dare you throw a geriatric at me? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? King Nat 19 I mean, history. You already you lost think... the NPC run. You didn't, you didn't screw that guy in the beginning. He's, He's still fun. around. Laden? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one but... way we could have avoided the entire I don't know, man. Encounter. It seems like Arden wants to fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't matter to your NPC run. Come on. <laughs> Look, there wasn't a time. <laughs> Didn't stop you with Zinnia. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I winked at her, and then it happened. Apparently. You wink, she wonk. An hour passed. <laughs> yeah, no. I winked, she wonked. We winked. The end. <laughs> no. <sighs> Water. 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 Also, whenever I got the mail earlier, <laughs> I got I got my I got my my great legend box. So that's good. Cool. That's the last <laughs> box I ordered. I don't have any other cards coming. How do you spell Ulysses? Uh, I'll type it in the chat in the thing. Hmm. Thank you. I was kind of close, but not actually really that close. <laughs> Has any character in that 19 done a three way, or is Marley here to break records? <laughs> heck, heck, and Taunt is working on it. Give him time. <laughs> <laughs> Rory just has to die first. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, who is. Who's there? And then I'm like, oh wait, no, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just have to kill Rory, I see. Wait, the fuck? 
<laughs> that is what I come back to. Suck my entire dick. What's happening? Someone asked if any heck in that nineteen character done a three way, or if Mario is here to break records. And I was like, Tante's working on it. Rory just needs to die. Mhm. Mm yeah. No. Um. Not gonna happen. I. Why not? Well, I know Rory's myself. alive. Yeah. It still wouldn't happen. <laughs> it wouldn't happen. Okay. <laughs> not gonna happen. Not gonna just believe. It's not going to have an unbuttoning shirt. It's not happening. I'm not doing it. It's not going to happen. This isn't happening. happening. <laughs> it's not going to It's not going to happen. It's not happening. It's not happening, right? It's not going to happen again. It's not going to happen a second time. <laughs> you got to have that. It's not going to be every day. Sad about, you got to have that sad about Rory three way. <laughs> Jokes sad about on Rory you. dying three way. Don't hold that way, bitch. <laughs> She's just going to sit in her room and cry. Well, that's the press okay. With two other girls. <laughs> 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 Maybe they kiss a little, but not like that. Maybe kiss a little, but not like that. No, it's, it's, it's not like that. They like just fuck that. a little, but not like that. No, yeah, not like that, though. <laughs> what if there were three Rory's? Her head would explode. Oh my god. Eh. I love she... Rory. Spare me that world, please, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much anxiety for one they all, room. They all speak in unison, so you just put a chorus effect on yourself whenever you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't. The main thing you hear when they're around them, just because he's so straightforward about everything, is anytime a Rory says something around another Rory, there's always just a quiet, he's right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's true! Avi, Fenris, where's all your gold? <laughs> Spend it all on Tantia. Spend <laughs> <laughs> it all on Tantia. <laughs> I'm. Logan, what happened to all your grocery money? I spun it all on Digimon cards. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. <laughs> that specific iteration. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the sad thing is I accidentally did. Yeah. yeah. I accidentally did because a heckin' one of my employers didn't pay me at the right time, so I should have had money, but I don't. Woo! <laughs> Wait it's a minute, fine. what happened to all my money? The money's still Someone coming, but it's not stole it. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> took all my money and replaced it with these Digimon cards I love. <laughs> <laughs> well, no sense in not opening them. Luckily, they left the receipt so I can write it off on my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you could do that. I can. <laughs> yeah, because you streamed it. I that's correct. And because exactly. of the nature because of the nature of my child, you'll you'll find it a bit harder to do there, you. <laughs> you got you got some red tape to cross if your channel becomes your job. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> wow. Wow. Again. Wow. Well. Execute order 66. I don't even know what the rest of your comment is. I just saw that part. <laughs> <laughs> How do I make that work? It can't work. Fuck. Damn. Just twisting that joke into being the heckin' the three-way joke and just change that joke to execute order 69. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what the joke that means, is... but I said the number, so it's funny. <laughs> Um. Nice. Alrighty. Nice. Uh, Lenny basically turned him into a delivery boy. He's a public servant. <laughs> I didn't turn him into what anything. Was... <laughs> what What was Adric again? He was like, made his one job of the hard. Four pedal mm -hmm. knights. One of the ten oh, the... pedal knights. Oh, the pet ten. Okay. Um... The thing is, Aaron, you say that like Avi didn't. Think of it like Bleach. Right He's one oh, of yeah, the captains. He had a bunch of new. <laughs> Uh, new problems with the it's, not ex it's not exactly that, but that can help you visualize what basically the structure yeah. there is. They, 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 and they lead a hundred knights, right? Each of them has a hundred knights under their command. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Each of them did, anyways. Yeah. So it's each of the pedal knights, or like the heads, or whatever. What are, yeah. they, what are they officially called for notes for me? The pedal knights. 
Here's the thing. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, the the term pedal knight. I was working on the class long before this, but I hadn't named it. Uh, they were the pedal knights as a sign of authority and what like that was their title before I made the class name that, and then I decided to name the class after these guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So pedal I knight hope, is the title. I hope he's not actually a pedal knight. <laughs> like spoiler <laughs> mechanically. <laughs> yeah, no. That'd <laughs> <But laughs> be really. Funny he's a barbarian. Be- no, he's a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Buff as all hell, wizard, hell yeah. We're gonna have to stand against them. All right, then we draw the line here. Magic missile. Pew, pew, <laughs> pew, pew, Wait, pew. what? <laughs> pulls out delicate reading glasses, pulls out phone book-sized spell book. <laughs> <clears throat> Magic missile. Magic, magic missile. missile. Magic missile. <laughs> I like magic missile. Can you cast anything nice else? Level. It always <laughs> hits. Why would I cast anything else? Magic missile. Yeah. <laughs> what if what if what if they cast shield? Then I go home. <laughs> <laughs> then they are truly an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> they are a force that cannot be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> This is the only what if they cast shield? They do they have, have as many spell slots for shield as I do as for magic missile? If so, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> His mortal enemy is just another wizard who only uses their slots. Shield! For shield. Magic missile. <laughs> One of us is gonna run out eventually. The other one's like, fool, I can cast shield all day. Zooms in on them. I hope he doesn't realize shield is the only spell I know. (laughs) I need him to give up. I don't know how to fight. Isn't there an item called the brooch of of shielding? That also just makes you immune. Yes. I have that in fucking uh, princess. Fucking (laughs) fires just a bunch of magic missiles at someone with it. They just like deflect it Wonder Woman style. He's just like, oh. They're a god. (laughs) (laughs) I see. (laughs) Fucking Krabozi made a... Krabozi made a good fan art thing. (laughs) What does it mean to them? I, I like this fictional version of what we made him. <laughs> I, I, it's such a rare opportunity that I get to put myself in the shoes of someone who doesn't know anime and doesn't care, so I can't just steer into it. So I just have to be like, yes, mm-hmm. which of the animes have you seen? Which of the <laughs> Japanese animes? <laughs> yeah. Is this like one of your Japanese animes? animes. <laughs> your Chinese Adric, anime. embodying the vibe of, are you winning, son? Many <laughs> Japanese weave. animes have you seen? Boku no Pico? I'm happy that I basically get to hear Hadrick talk about anime. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm very pleased that everybody gets this vague preview of a racer head from something witty <laughs> in the form of Hadrick. <laughs> Love it. Alright. <sighs> um, You guys good to jump back in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Hmm. I know we could go late tonight. I don't know how far we're going to go. It's really dictated by, I think, how our energy is tonight. But we'll see. Fair enough. Hup. Goodbye. Keep you high. Let's go. Let's go. Back to the patch. Back right. to the patch. I'm all right, Jack. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they need to be samurai cats and have pizza? Can't they settle? With, can't they settle for one thing? Hmm. Well, they don't have to give the pizza for free after thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Hi, it's Body the- lays watching <laughs> anime with Adric. Hi, it's the- <laughs> hanging out as friends watching anime. We don't always have to have sex. We can just watch anime together. Uh, my imagining. My imagining of Mada is constantly trying to. <laughs> get it on with him, but every time they yeah. hang out, he's just watching anime, but not really getting it, and he thinks they're just there to do that, so he's just focused on that. Yeah. Marley so, like, puts on the etchy shit, trying to get something out of him. Alright, so explain this out. to me again, Marile. She sings halfway across the galaxy, and that somehow helps him pilot his robot? Yes. <laughs> it's a very good song. Look at her outfit. Her. 
Look at her outfit. Half her boobies are out. I can wear that. They sure are. You have to remember that Cheryl is best girl. Anyway, I'm gonna go talk to Arden Bye. <laughs> no, no, even I can tell that. No, Cheryl's best girl. That's true. So glad we're in agreement. Don't kill me. Bye. <laughs> but who's going to dress up as Ranka? Oh, are you gonna do one of them costume plays? It's cute. So, Don't worry. DMC. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. I need to make myself <laughs> fucking come back in. Let's do this! <laughs> I'm so happy I made Body Lay be like, I watch Macross. <laughs> so, you guys, uh, let's say for the purposes of what we're doing, about... It's about noon by this point. Uh, you guys are released into the area to do whatever you wish to do. Um, there's downtime awaiting you. Uh, Adric said he needed some time to uh, ponder what course of action may be best suited for what they're doing. What would you guys like to do? Uh, mm. After finding Manny, basically just start, I guess, looking for a place to go and rest. Hey guys, I said sorry to give me a Dr. Pepper. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, nice. Or Not whatever good. drink, or whatever drink they tell us we have. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a Dr. Pepper. I just don't know how I feel about it yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got nothing specific. Should, should we go Let's look go. at that that area that um Adric said Lucifer appeared? Like that that kinda like boarded up part of the building or whatever he was pointing to? We could uh, if you want to uh go straight there. I was thinking we could potentially find somewhere to set up. We don't know I how thought they were going to come with us for that. Am I wrong about that assumption? Uh, for clarity, I believe that what uh, Theo is referring to is the boarded up section of the stadium where Lucifer broke the ceiling. Is that what uh, you're talking about? I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. not not going out and finding Lucifer in the city. Okay, okay. No, we're cool. not we're yeah. not leaving. No, no, no. No, I'm talking about like the room that he was like <laughs> through the ceiling. Hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. We could go and check that out right now if you want to. Uh, we could also yeah. try to find somewhere to stay since we are not sure how long we are going to be staying here. But uh, I, I'm fine, fine sticking, staying, uh, stopping by it on the way. Might well, still be interesting to look. Yeah, let's go. Sure. If you want to give me like five minutes? I might be. I I could brew something up that might be make me better at uh, <coughs> looking around. Sure. You mind if I look? What? So do you mind if I watch you work? Not at all. Alright. Yes, let's all watch Artem work stairs. <laughs> I, just, I just think his potion stuff's interesting, man. You don't gotta make it weird. Eyes wide open, staring down. <laughs> Why don't you stare at Marile? Do you need a table? I'm, all, I'm still holding Marile. He's not, she's not gonna he be is, going I'm, anywhere. I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to take the five minutes and make the uh, conversant uh, mutagen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I will drink <clears throat> that before we go in there. All right. You guys head over to the other side of the stadium where part of the uh, canopy had been destroyed. You find that some of the seats, it's on the upper area, so you have to go through, uh, up the stairs and find your way through the concourse that separates the, uh, the different layers of this place. You head over to it. Yeah, you find it's like a good 30-foot hole that appears to have been patched over with um, hastily applied, like, large strips of metal that were clearly ripped out of the surrounding area. Um, it's cold here. There's some cracks in it that allow small bits of the blizzard to get in, which uh, is uncomfortable to be around and would probably be bad for your health if not for having Madi lay with you. Is there anything specific about it that you want to look up or find out? Um, hmm. I uh, mainly, yeah, just want to investigate around, see if I find anything, like, peculiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was kind of where I was going from, too. Just, I want to see if there's anything that kind of sticks out, anything that we can find. Fia doesn't really know what she's looking for. She's chunks like, well, of Lucifer. Came through here. <laughs> chunks of Lucifer. <laughs> yeah. No, just... Just looking for anything that might tip them off. Um, 
Is the whole party over there? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marile, I'm, I'm I definitely want to stick together throughout as this time, as time. I have no choice. <laughs> as time goes on, Marile, um, I will say that there's this uh, kind of pain in the back of your skull that's been slowly building up as you guys move around. Um, as you get closer to this area, to the outside, um, you start to feel it again. You don't know exactly what's causing it, but you, you do feel this pressure in your head that makes it slightly hard to concentrate. She just slumps her head on Niccolo's chest, just like, blit. <laughs> what? Are you alright? Yeah. Uh, something... Something is hurting my head. I don't understand. Mm. Something doesn't feel right. No es como no mon migraña. Radiating heat, so I can't tell if you have a fever. <laughs> no, it is not a fever. It is just very off about this place. Upon seeing her, like, freaking uh, acting weird around here, it's like, okay, there's a, let's see if I can put my freaking eyes to use and look around this, this busted up fucking wall. <laughs> as you do, you don't see any traces of magic or anything um, as you look around and as Even you guys... Even the tech magic uh, thing that's currently on? Yeah, that's that's why I said okay. you don't see magic. Okay, I'm just making sure. I, I wouldn't say that to somebody who couldn't see magic. <laughs> oh, maybe magic is everywhere in the world. Um, you know? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> as you guys look around, even those of you that investigate, so I won't have you guys roll anything. Um, when you look around the area, the main things that you find are... Again, like a 30-foot round hole was blown in the side into the stadium. It looks like it was ripped apart. From the way that some of the holes are formed, you can tell that it looks like it was pelted by a, like a, um, a variety of projectiles that appeared to eat through it, because there's some places where there's just holes dug out into it. The seats that are on the inside after this and the surrounding area have similar signs of pelting by what look like almost spear-like or missile-like objects that just blasted the area. But beyond the debris, there's nothing really to take in here. Nothing appears to have been left from it. Mm. Okay. Let's uh, make our way away from here. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure we might be onto something? If it gets worse, we're getting closer. <laughs> Are you okay? Not any further we can go without going beyond... Mm. Where we are here, so no. I guess that's all. Uh, what did I say? Mm. Uh, Logan? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> did I already uh, roll like any sort of check to recall any information about Lucifer? I can't remember. Uh, if I, have I believe, already. I believe it came up at one point. I, I, I couldn't tell you with certainty that you did or didn't. Mm-hmm. Could I do so now? Sure. Okay. Can I roll, like, religion or something? Sure. <laughs> Pretty good. Lucifer. I don't know if this has come up before, but Lucifer is a demon that uh, would be fairly widely studied. Uh, obviously, the world has its own biblical idea of who Lucifer is as the devil, but um, within this canon, it is widely known that most real world religions are not the case when it comes to the names of things um, mm -hmm. Lucifer is a demon that was known for, I'm going to pull up some stuff here so I can give you specific notes I don't want to get anything wrong here where are you y'all yeah. Yeah. oop uh, at one point Lucifer, the prince of tyranny uh, a very elegant demon uh, maintained control over the Frost Hells for a long time. Uh, you would know generally upon trying to remember things based on information that you found out since that he was dethroned by, uh, by Veilfar and serves as Veilfar's right-hand man for all intents and purposes now. It is a knight-like demon that, uh, when it comes up, sometimes tries to pass itself off in certain cases as being angelic in nature. 
and it has the appearance, and you've seen a couple, like, rough, sketchy depictions of it in some books in the past. It has the vague uh, image of what could be considered this almost paladin-like knight with large, uh, with wings. But this betrays its nature as a uh, demon of treachery. Gotcha. <clears throat> that down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm... Aside from that, I'm... I don't really got anything specific in mind. They'll probably come to us whenever they feel they need to move out. Mm -hmm. Let us find oh. somewhere we can rest up and uh, actually potentially have a well, bit of time to ourselves for the first time in days. Right. Cool. Looking uh, to hi. Fionula and uh, looking to Fionula and Marile. And you too! <laughs> you are the most danger here, so please try to be careful. I'm trying. I, I understand. That's why I'm saying, you know, the, with the earlier, with the other thing. Pinches earlier, his nose. Everything, the, the things only up with, the, with everything going on. <laughs> no, no. Don't be mean. Just I'm not being me. mean. I'm just making sure she knows that she should not say these don't, things don't all the time. She's doing her best. Uh, I'll, I'll protect her. Don't worry about it. I just want I'm to make sure that she's trying to hide, but like, you know, you almost gave away that you were part of, you know, under the sun. Uh, I'm just, uh, just you to... gave everything else away. I was trying to cover for you, Nicolo. Listen, the main thing I want to make sure that you know is that money, please. The main thing. <laughs> <laughs> she just like her arm just slumps split. <laughs> I just want to make sure that whenever we are going forward with this, that we don't have to say everything about us, all right? We don't have to tell everyone everything we have. We don't have I to tell everyone everything, everything about doing. me. I think you're talking to the wrong person. You should be talking to Imani. He looks to Emmanuel, mm -hmm. and uh, he looks to Emmanuel, and he looks to Gino. They are a part of these people. I could tell them not to say anything, but in the, to be perfectly honest, they have every right to do so. They are members of this organization that is here. The rest of us have no such protections. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that we all understand we are in their territory. We have to abide by their rules. Anything that can make you out to be even a little bit of a target, especially the two of you, please try to take your... Do your best to not do so. Mm. Uh, you know, I think that they're worrying a bit too much. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's... Yeah. Like, I remember being kind of scared of him when I first came here, but he's kind of just stressed all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got a lot. Yeah. He, just, he comes off as angry when he's stressed. So if you don't know him, you're like, ah, or like, I don't know. I'd... I wasn't ah. I was more like, oh, what's your problem? But hey, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mention the thing before about the devil arms. Uh, it kind of just slipped uh, my knot brain. But you guys. Yeah. And she didn't try to wrestle me to the round or anything, so it's fine. Hmm. He could have pointed a gun at me while I was on his desk. Yeah. Probably wouldn't. Probably. Probably. I can say, he did seem like he is understanding, and I do feel that he is going to help us going forward. But that is more our good favor than anything else, I would think. Not uh, I feel like if anyone's going to wrestle you to the right. ground, Colleen's more likely than he is. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. People are on edge. We just need to make sure that we get through everything as well as we can. Hey! Anikolo! You just hear oh, from across hey, the God. stadium just a <laughs> reverberating yell coming at you. You see from the middle of the field just no. looking up at you guys up on the second level. 
You've come all this way and you don't even come to see me! No. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 I pull no, on no, Nikolai's no, sleeve. No, no, no. Give me a minute, I'll be out there in a second! You no, see this, no, 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 you see no, this no, elderly no, no. figure run off towards the sterile. You can hear from here just a... <laughs> Marile Mar Mar just like slightly shuffles in his arms and just buries her head in his chest, trying to stifle laughter. <laughs> hey, Nick, Why Nicola. am I still getting you? Nicola. <laughs> mm. yes, it's Marie. time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pizza time, Nani. <laughs> Also, will they try to kill me? Should I hide again? No, they're fine. Out of in. Um... <laughs> no one's here. No one. I don't think anyone here is going to try to kill you. They're pretty now. honest about when they're thinking about killing you. There was long discussions about whether or not they could, could like cut my hand off and the ring would come off, because that's not killing me. So it like they considered that kind of fair, I guess. Um, but I figured that probably wouldn't work. That's okay. fair. I was talking about Pizza Boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's probably the most dangerous we've met so far, yes. I feel like Whoa. he's I feel like he's a pizza man. I'm gonna hide behind Arden. A pizza man! <laughs> he runs up to you guys, just doubles over. You see this man wearing he's wrapped in a blanket, but underneath it you can see he's just got uh, effectively sweatpants and a white, uh, white wife beater on. Fairly muscular, but also some, in, like, hardcore dad bod going on. He looks like hey, Panucci like, from Futurama. Totally. <laughs> hey, boss. Hey, Nicolo! Are you going to try to get out of here without coming to see me first? And you make all of these friends and you don't introduce them to me. Hello, I am... Oh. Well, I've been called the great of many things. <sighs> oh, goodness. Hello. Are you okay, boss? Hey. Hey. Everyone, this is my boss, Bertuccio. I am very hey. sorry if he has given you any trouble whatsoever. Ah, uh, it's okay. Uh, I'll forgive him. One day. Couldn't even have come back in time to be escorted with me. Raises a hand up to you. I I had I had things to do, boss. I I needed to. Uh, I'm glad you're safe. An earthquake broke his car. <gasps> and put it in the pit. Yeah. You wrecked your car. <laughs> and then he got a new car. And then a bull kind of hurt it. And then a uh. uh, metal guy with a sword kind of. Finish Cut it job. right in half. Yeah. A man shouldn't have to say goodbye to two cars in two days. Oh, but oh, Papi Bertuccio, I am safe and sound. It is a very good to hear. At least you all have been managing to take care of Marile. <laughs> Everyone loves me. <laughs> I would be the number one priority boss, so I stayed with her. If you are good for one thing, and one thing alone, it is taking care. Of sweet Marile. <laughs> she just holds her hand out to him. <laughs> Takes your hand. Of course, boss. <laughs> Inside her heart, the biggest gremlin grin. <laughs> <laughs> how how was it that you were able? How did you survive this? <laughs> I haven't ever told you about it. But below the pizza shop, I suppose maybe I should have told you just in case you ever needed it. I had something of a bunker. This is unsurprising. <laughs> you were, you were I closed the why? shutters. Went into emergency mode. I've been prepared for an event like this for a very long time. Very long time. I thought I'd have waited out. And then these people broke in. Told me they had to escort me back to here. At first I thought it would be you, but then I thought, oh, of course not. That would be him showing up on time. So. Good one, boss. They brought me back here and they took my weapons. You see him put his hand out. They took my gun. And then they gave me a blanket and some food, so it was all right. I should have seen it, Papi Bertuccio. What you said about the pizzeria with the deer, it's all true. <gasps> Were they using animatronics? 
for vile purposes, like mm -hmm. I thought they were. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but but Niccolo did a great job protecting me from them. He was so strong. Yeah. <laughs> I'll well, mention him get swallowing up the swallowed up by one and <laughs> flashback like... to that. <laughs> <laughs> he saved me from one puppy <clears throat> Bethuncio. At least for the sake of the fact that you brought back Marile. I am at least happy to see you for this, and thank you all for taking care of my idiot delivery boy. Ah, oh, it's no problem. Not even one. I do give a just a hard slap on the back. <laughs> <laughs> he's no trouble at all, except when he was. Anything he has offered you, unfortunately, as he has in the past, I'm sure any discounts that he has offered in return for this favor are Countless. not backed up by the company itself. Understood? All right. Oh, I see. Well, he did promise a lot of discounts, but. I guess I can let it slide. Got to run Niccolo, not your <laughs> discount to give out there, Niccolo. There is a world oh, ending yeah. a blizzard going on, but you're going to be the thing that puts me out of business! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Won't happen again. <laughs> it better not, sir. And now, 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 Papi Bertuccio, he wasn't thinking about running you out of business. He was thinking of getting the remaining survivors when they crave pizza to come to your place. So that you would always have customers. Rather your place than the, than the animatronics, right, boss? Mm -hmm. Well, when they're bringing me here, I happen to pass by. That pizzeria, and I could not help but to notice a lot of blood. Bodies. And I could not help uh, but to think to myself, they got what's coming to them. I don't think we'll have to worry about them again, Niccolo. It's what they get for coming into our turf, eh, boss? <laughs> <laughs> he just like laughs, points at you. <laughs> Looking like a true uh, former uh, mafioso. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure this guy was in a gang. <laughs> this fucker was in a mafia. They, they this guy sure used to be the godfather is what he was. They sure won't move again, boss. I, I promise you that. <laughs> uh, they're dead. What they did to my boy. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can maybe we can pick up the store for cheap, eh? <laughs> Expand. Hmm. But who would run it? Maybe Niccolo. No. 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 I'm just a delivery boy. He cannot even. <laughs> in the course of two days, he has lost the two cars. Why would I? Tr Why would I trust him with the building? <laughs> You're right, Bob. Yeah, You're right, some guy's probably going to come along and cut your building in half. <laughs> not if I... Mm. Hmm. Yeah, no, someone would totally just come by because of Nicola to chop a building in half. Have yep. I mentioned I'm so grateful that you are here? <laughs> not nearly enough. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Give you such a warm Could reception. Be. Come off as ungrateful. To be honest, boss, I actually am happy you made it. It's hard to find work in this city, so I don't I don't look for look for another job. <laughs> he was worried about you, puppy. He just is you know how Nicolo is with his feelings. I get rid of them. You're right. <laughs> it is a good thing you showed up here. This place oh, is yeah. filled with many people who are all in need of a small ray of hope. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, <laughs> what I'm gonna need you to do is I need you to go back out into the blizzard and get us the ingredients we need to make it a pizza. <laughs> and then we are going to sell to them. They are vulnerable, Nicolo. 
Can't we take the ingredients from the other place? They are probably dead. They will not miss it. You're right. We will cook for them. <laughs> and charge an emergency surplus on top of our normal fees. <laughs> Wow. They only have access to <laughs> rations, Nicola. <laughs> They'll pay whatever we ask. <laughs> All right. He just starts like looking at him up. like, of course. <laughs> Next time that you go out, you make sure to pick up what I ask you to. All right. Until then, don't speak of it to anyone. Top priority, boss. Like That's a side quest right there. <laughs> I was gonna lips. say, it's like, hey, hey, Cody. You just got a fetch quest. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I'm also going to need you to uh, pick up a stove and um, basically find me a kitchen and bring it back here too. All right. And make sure you bring it back within a and minute, or else it'll be... be no good. And here I thought you would have unreasonable requests, boss. <laughs> Why don't you just use the kitchen that the animatronic people were in? It is. Tainted. I don't know. We're in a. I don't know, we're in a stadium, maybe use some, maybe use an oven from like the, the current dark stand or something. I would never spit upon the graves of a fellow pizza connoisseur by using their kitchen. But it is a, probably not up to my standards. It's probably covered in blood, yes. You have standards? <laughs> <laughs> we have a very, we have a very nice pizzeria, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. It has a bunker and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Looks over, middle-aged head tilted towards you, Arden. You, you get the one. You run your mouth Wait, at what? me again that way. I'll close it permanently. Capiche? And don't threaten my Arden. Or just Arden. <laughs> Looks to you get one. Looks to you, Theo. Looks back. <laughs> Or maybe something bad happens to those who might be close to you. Who's to say? Oh, he was definitely in the mob. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to try, Pizza Man. Uh, let's let's all. Just I don't. I don't dare you to down. try. <laughs> <laughs> let's all just calm down now. Let's. Uh, so, so I'm sorry for saying the things I did. Uh, it's just that Niccolo doesn't, you know sing its high praises enough the, so I had a poor opinion of it oh that sounds like him right <laughs> under the bus <laughs> <I'm done>. <laughs> what <laughs> right under the bus I see <laughs> Nicolo you yep. are always on the job always on the job always on the job but I need to make sure I clock out every night at 10pm <laughs> I'm not paying for you to stand around and do nothing of course of course <laughs> By the way, boss, I never did clock out before uh, everything went down. I still get paid for all of that for all those hours. <laughs> <laughs> he starts walking away backwards, looking. At you. <laughs> 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 I told you once, I told you a thousand times. Walking away, echoing. You do not get paid overtime. Uh, what am uh, I? Uh, uh, a charity. Just leaves. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> he seems nice. I don't. I don't know anything about that man, but I'm ninety-eight percent sure he was in the mafia. Oh yeah, he's killed a man. <laughs> 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 totally. Of he that, I can be sure. Mhm. Kind of. Has that smell about him that I've killed a man smell, you know? It's a very distinct smell. I we all smell of it. <gasps> but, yeah. I mean, he <laughs> hires people who don't have any papers saying that they're, 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 they're good in this country. So, well, that's good for me. <laughs> Why would oh. you need papers for that? That sounds silly. Uh, it's a little I thing don't have called, paper. Uh, it's a little thing about citizenship, but uh, I don't think you have to worry about it. Oh, oh, there out. he goes. Well, <laughs> 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 
I'm gone. I'm out. Nicola we need Glenn. to reset our Nicolo. <laughs> I'm out. I have to run I'm away. I'm plug it back in. <laughs> gone. I'm gone. You're dead. Uh, <clears throat> well, that was fun. We are taking a break. I'll fight him if he tries to kill you, Alden. I'll do it. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll fight win. him if he tries to hurt you. Well, good. Or, or anyone else. I don't think yep. any of you have to worry about it. I'm pretty sure that just about anybody here, and that includes Emmanuel, could probably be fine when it comes to him. However, what do you mean, includes? I have a gun. Yeah, like he's, he's the, the he's most gone. powerful one. Thing, you have one thing more than he has. Apparently they right. took his. These are the daft fucks who gave the child a gun. Forgot, almost I forgot I wonder about why that. I don't want to trust them, Aladdin. <laughs> 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 They're the ones who kidnap a kid and give him a gun. I wonder why I don't want to trust them. I feel like his magic's be like way more powerful than his gun. I feel like he was going to... Yeah. That doesn't take away from the fact that you're the baby anyway. Yeah, yeah, don't don't sell the fact short <laughs> that they gave a. I don't see a problem with it personally. Uh, how old but are you, man? magic death finger. Um. Yeah. And now he has magic death finger and a gun. And it doesn't gun. take away the fact you that. You say that gun. like it's a bad thing. I don't understand the problem. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Nico. I'm like We're 13 and like three quarters, a half ish. I'm going to go find a place for us to go and, 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 and lay down and forget about everything that has happened in the past hour. All right. <laughs> right. Okay. Are you All still right. carrying Muddy Lake? <laughs> I looked to her. Of course. I put her down. <laughs> Thank you. I then look Start up toward the observation area. I don't trust you. I'll pick you back up. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's just walking back to Adric's office. <laughs> not Karen, Marile just paths back. Their AI paths <laughs> back to Adric. <laughs> okay, I pick her back up and let's go. <laughs> if you close the yeah. right gate in their way, they'll just walk against it indefinitely. So yeah. I just become an oblivion NPC is what I'm fucking hearing. <laughs> Need something. Need, Need something. something. <laughs> Cloud district. Need something. <laughs> Get it. Uh, sit down and take a breather. Yep. I mean, we don't really need to take it. I mean, I could use a short rest. Uh, Is there anywhere here uh, that would be big enough for all of us, but like not like completely crowded? You are in a sports stadium that is currently occupied by less than a hundred people. Good. I you have find a place. so much space. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh, let's uh, break into a private booth. Oh, I could be uh. the other. I'm gonna remake a uh, the shielded uh, mutagen. By the way. Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna drink it, but... on you, money. It doesn't have to be on me. We can just get a bunch of stuff to set on fire, then put the grate over the fire, and then you you call you have it like fire roasted pizza. Please don't talk to him about that. Get like a shopping cart and just like break off one of the sides, and you have a grate. And see, this is why he loves Marile. <laughs> Marile has the soul of pizza. <laughs> oh yes, he loves Marile so much because she is a fucking object, apparently. <laughs> I mean, they're also a succubus, so regular people can't help. That's yeah. that's related. That's yeah, it's yeah. a related <laughs> aspect of it. Yes, but. <laughs> oh. So, are you guys going to wait until they come to get you? Uh huh. Okay. Basically, so. just like spend as much time actually in comfortable rest as we can. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. As you guys do, you end up getting a good maybe half a day. Um, as you guys rest, uh, about eight hours, six, like seven or eight hours passed before uh, you guys find Adrian comes uh, to get you, yells up at you. Uh, from the bottom, because you guys said you were breaking into like one of the private booths. So just like down from the field, you just hear someone yelling up. And you're like, "Hey, Adric says that he and Ovet 
I'm ready to talk to you guys whenever you are, as long as you're feeling rested. Okie doke. Be down in a sec. Alright. Well, I mean, you're on the same plane oh. as it, so go over there. Gotcha. Alright. Cool. Yo, could we actually take a, a long rest? Because fucking my hit we had like some of my hit yeah. dice are... <laughs> some of my hit dice are missing. I oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yay. It's one of your long rests, and you're at you're at about 8 p.m. today, so and you've only taken the one. Woo! Sounds good. Okay. Take another one. All right, you guys. <laughs> take the hour. You take the long rest. You guys head over. Whenever you get in there, um, you pass by, pass through the little workshop area of the lower uh, lower floor. Head up to the main one. Whenever you step up there, you pass by. Uh, you pass by Catelyn, who's just standing guard way at the bottom um, of the stairway as you pass. And as you go up to the main floor, you once again bump into Adric, who is turned, has their the sword in front of them again, hands on it as it's like standing in a very kingly pose uh, towards you guys. Ovet standing across the room from them, uh, close enough to be able to talk. They invite you guys in whenever you enter. All right. Thanks for coming up so soon. No we problem. We're think... actually on the same plane. We just went around. I see. Put on Marley's leash. <laughs> Playing kitty. Oh my <laughs> god. That's kinky. Like, excuse me. That's very kinky, Nicolo. <laughs> Why did you even get that? <laughs> so. So we think that we've given the resources we have on hand, assuming a lot of you are willing to work with us, we think we have a general idea of what we should do. Our main issues currently are ease of travel, the blizzard, the safety of the people that are here once we are gone, and of course the structure has ongoing effects on the city. We do need to send people to help Colleen, but it's difficult while demons are still popping up in this city, so given what we know... He nods over to Ovet. You all seem to know our enemy a bit better than we do, and the last structure let you inside. You all, thanks to her, seem to be able to survive in the blizzard more easily than us. I did build us these, and she taps the strap on their arm. They keep us warm for a little bit, but it's a, still a bit debilitating. You all seem to be able to survive out there indefinitely, effectively. So you're best in regards to sending out to do things. You have the best chances to make it inside there. And shutting those hell gates that are letting the, the frost hell blizzard in is the main concern we have right now. We can stay here and fortify things while you do that. We'll need you to go take out the spire. And then we can reconvene and decide what we're going to do. In the spirit of the second commandment of the Knights of Ulyssia, we are unfortunately sworn to stay here and protect these people, even if it means sacrificing Colleen. We can't leave until we resolve this. In the name of the third and fourth, however, I command you, Gino and Emmanuel, at the very least, to head to that obsidian spire and resolve the situation, even if it costs you your own lives. Protect the boundaries of the human world and push the demons of the Frost Hells back. The rest of you being compliant? We can't force you to go, but we understand that you want to help at this point. So, we trust that you'll accompany them. Mm hmm Hmm. And then, once this blizzard is dealt with, we'll prioritize going after and dispatching the lust demon Lilith to ensure that no more interference is here after we leave this city. Then... <coughs> We'll go meet up with Colleen. Does that sound good to all of you? Yeah. Sounds like a great plan. Yes, sir. Hmm. Good. You said you've been to the base of this thing before. To the base of the spire, I... yes. You feel there'll be any, say, any help you could give us on terrain or any way that you can us in getting there. You seem to be able to move around better than we can, but if you're able to brave the blizzard, 
The area we're in, the stadium, is raised up a bit because of the tectonic activity that's been going on. However, there is a transportation bay. He, like, looks over across the, uh, across the stadium and you see a large set of doors that are on the other side that normally, like, marching bands and whatnot would use. Those go straight outside. There's a slope that if you can get down it properly, should get you right back into the city. And then, you should be able to head straight to the spire. It's... Uh, not close, but since you can travel easily, it shouldn't take you more than half... Mm, yeah, about half a day, at the most, to get to it. Probably less. Once you're there, it's on you. We don't know what's inside. Toby Ben and we, so. Um, have, you, uh, have you looked around this area at all? The perimeter around the around the uh, the mall here. Yeah, we've done uh, some checks around here. Why? Do you know of any place where we could uh, find some sort of transportation for ourselves, or should we just make our way on foot? Getting. Vehicles out of here, given the the rays, would probably be difficult. You couldn't get them back into the stadium, because you have to go through the back uh, corridors and such. You'd have to get one to the outside. A vehicle would be useful. But unfortunately, finding one within the mall and then taking it into here and then out those doors probably isn't an option. Ah, understood. Good. And if we're all in agreement... We do this, we find Colleen, we take down Lucifer, get our forces together, and then we stand together against Valefar, and against whatever the Order of the Sword is doing. And while we're at it, we're going to find Leyden Stratum and find out exactly what's going on. Yeah. Pretty much sums everything up, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. I must say. One more. Go ahead. I was going to ask uh, one more thing. If there was any sort of supplies you think you may have that could be useful to us. Any sort of uh, weapons or artifacts we may be able to help us on our way. Apart from... <laughs> like, looks at his own weapon. Apart from my own sword? Not really. And I don't feel like parting with it. You are already much better armed that, than most of us. I know that uh, speaking with one of the people here, the Knights of Ulyssia had uh, taken arms and things from the people they brought in. I didn't know if there was anything useful among that. Basic guns. Ah, A couple of people had normal firearms, nothing compared to what you all have. Understood. Then. Hmm. Good. I'm normally a relatively unlucky man, as far as I find, so I'm rather happy that things finally seem to be looking up. Hmm. And then the lights go out. I fucking knew it! Uh, I fucking knew it! Uh, well, so, uh, the lights go just out, like and as they do, there is no larger noise, nothing dramatic, but the lights and hum of machinery ceases in the area. And as it does, you just hear in the darkness, some of you are able to see, just the sound of clothing moving as Adric once again rubs one of his temples and just... Oh, wonderful. Quick question. Yeah. Was there anything on his desk or like any, like a pen or anything? No, they're basically all cleared. Uh, but you could probably yeah. find supplies like that around if you needed them. I just wanted something to touch to cast light. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, you do so. You light the area up. Ding! <laughs> now, I know this what looks like? Ugh, I'm so sorry I know that <laughs> seems bad but uh, this has actually happened a few times already impeccable timing a yeah. wonderful um, omen <laughs> yes it's uh, we've been running on backup power here this place has about four backup generators and they keep all they all keep breaking hmm you mind if I ask for one more favor before you go? What's that? Did you go check a couple of them? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, sure. Take Ovet mm. with you. If they're broken, they can fix them. We'll take Ida with us, Ovet, and we'll send somebody. I'll send somebody else to check on the other two. We need to have this place generating power, or else everybody's going to freeze. All right. Let's make haste, then. There are access tunnels. You're going to get into them just by going down to the base area, heading out through one of the dugouts, and... They're pretty evident. Hovac can show you the way. Gotcha. Let's go! Thanks for being a nice person! You are welcome. <laughs> Thanks for not being a bloodthirsty murderer. You're welcome! Uh, you're <laughs> you're certainly us. welcome. My card is still on the desk. If you need some time. <laughs> <laughs> the hand reaches in the frame, puts a even, card even, on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> just touches it and casts light on the card. Ding! <laughs> Ding! Ding! <laughs> oh, this would be useful if I get the card. <laughs> press the digitation makes it look all sparkly. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> as you guys head out, Ovet grabs a, a flashlight as you guys pass through the downstairs area. Um, yeah, sorry, this has happened. Uh, I think this is the fourth time. I've, the, the generators here were damaged in the, you know, the, the earth splitting open. We tried to fix them, but they keep, bits of them keep freezing over, and a couple times demons have gotten into the downstairs areas. You wouldn't mind fighting anything if it showed up, right? Because I'm not really much of a... I love that. Yeah, oh, we do that. Uh, we can uh, help mind you. At all. You don't happen to have any duct tape, do you? I have lots of duct tape. I'm a mechanic. Yeah. What do you need? I need some duct tape. I'm going to... Hey, Arden, can I have that flashlight? <laughs> sure. I'm going to put this flashlight on my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Interesting. So I can actually potentially see. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of gun is it? It is my rifle. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of light. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit is good. <laughs> hey, I have light. Just you want me to put light on your gun? Light? Ding? Look, if you want to put light on my gun, that's Ding. fine. That's perfectly Ding. fine. Just remember uh, I also, that it'll, I would also uh, like to strap a flashlight to my gun. <laughs> I would like I would like to I would like to dead rising to this if that's possible. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> well, nothing nothing says you can't. Yeah, as you guys pass by the downstairs area, um, you guys see Adrian and uh, Catelyn meeting up with Ida, the the very tall bald woman who uh, had been assisting Ovet. They talk a bit. They they head off. Ovet fetches you some duct tape. You roll me a dexterity check. Hell yeah. This is, that, can... this is that extra plus one intelligence coming in, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you put it on backwards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you fashion it into it. You can use Hell your yeah. flashlight and your rifle at the same time. Something you could basically already do. I know, but now I have an end character. <laughs> but thing. now it's <laughs> cool. And <laughs> now it's now it's cool, and and I love it. <laughs> we can have that little scene where like he's like moving things around on a desk and strapping, and then it's okay. I'm good. <laughs> Sound clip of Dante. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> this party's getting crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, it's that gearing up cut like fucking scene in every goddamn action movie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys head down to the uh, tunnels. Ovet leads you down to um, effectively maintenance tunnels that are underneath the area. Pipes line the ceilings. Everything is... Um, there's a faint, distant sound of water dripping, echoing down the area. As you proceed downwards, uh, you come to a uh, three-way split that going off in two directions, the hallway that you're in, the tunnels, lead farther than you can see, and then against the the, the third way that it goes, I guess technically a four-way split, because the way you just came, down the, uh, it's directly in front of you, there's another visible door that appears to have ice covering most of it, a light over it that appears to be off and has lost power, with a keypad sitting next to it. 
Ovette moves their flashlight. Um, two signs on top of both of them. You see they, they're above both passageways. There's signs that say uh, passage BGR3 and passage BGR4. And then the one that has the keypad says passage GSR06, but Ovette just moves their flashlight between the other two rapidly. Guess it doesn't really matter which one we do first. Your bats screeching down from one way. Whichever way you guys want to go, there's the generator down both ways. Good that adventures, way. go left. I guess we're Good going... Go. I'll hold my fingers in front of me. Left. And then put left. <laughs> What'd you say, Gina? <laughs> I was saying the bat way, but he, he made a thing, so let's go that way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You guys turn. You head down that way, as you do, as you head down BGR 3. Uh, you walk for about 10, 15 minutes. Again, you see pipes and circuitry lining the walls until you eventually stumble your way into a relatively dark room. Should be somewhere around here. Um, where is... Uh, you see her stumbling around and then collides uh, in the dark with something, despite having light. So, like it just hits a wall and you guys find that moving about this large room that you've come into um, she seems to have stumbled into what appears to be a wall of ice ah oh. that wasn't there last time cold oh Man, great it's ice mm. sure is Marley can you do something about that I can try I don't think sitting on it is going to help. But I can... <laughs> uh, hold on, let me... Oh, I need my, my, my papery sheet of the thing. Well, of have thing. you tried sitting on it? I mean, <laughs> if I try, it's going to freeze my butt. <laughs> because even though I am warm and cuddly, it does not mean that I don't get cold. That I'm sounds dead. silly. I'm kind of silly. Uh, I guess I think just plain old fire manipulator should be able to do something about that, right? Yeah. We can try. You can we certainly try. try. We will try. You, try. you create oh. flames. Uh, as you do, you push them forward, and the ice does not seem to melt. Mm. You do oh, note that shit. there seems to be pathways uh, to the side of it. Oh, that starts moving their <laughs> flashlight around, trying to find surfaces it's reflecting off of, but this ice also seems a disturbingly clear. It doesn't look like naturally formed ice, like to the point where without distinctly looking for it, you wouldn't even be able to tell it was there. Huh. Mm. Well, swing my sword at it. it. Swing your sword. breaking it. Yeah, you, that's just what I'm doing. As you do, you bring your sword up, you swing towards it, you hit it, it doesn't crack. Shit. Okay. I, uh... You see Ovette, like, moving off to the side of it. I think there's a way to get around it. I just gotta... Oh, okay. I gotta... Well, we can go the boring way. I, 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 I'm just trying to... I mean, you know, I'll be over there. The generator's, like, literally, it's, like, 20 feet from here. It's not right okay, over there. Let's, let's, let's go, let's go. You through it. <laughs> All right. What's up? Oh, don't worry about it. If we, if we have a way, we're good. Okay, cool. All right. You see them moving around, feeling along the ice and finding a path through what appear to be these large chunks that go from the floor up to the ceiling until eventually Ovat turns their flashlight to what looks like a sputtering generator that's somewhat covered in frost. There it is. All right. Give me not but a minute and I'll have this back up. Then the lights should come back on. Some moves over to it. Yeah, Anything in the dark that looks like it might be uh, setting this up, given the ice is here. So. I don't think that might be here that could attack us. Do you guys hear the faint, like, like a sh like this icy sizzling coming from around you? The kind of thing that you'd expect to hear if you were, like, near a frozen lake. Just the ambient sound of ice shifting very slowly. 
I'd like everybody to roll me a perception check. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm not good at those. Nope. I'm very good at those, evidently. Theo. Yes. You have dark vision, right? Uh huh. You do notice Theo standing beside, go. standing beside one of the, uh, in the area. Looking around in the dark, it's hard to see because of how clear it is, but you see coming out of one of these large uh, chunks of ice, uh, you see what looks to be just slowly this large hand-like form almost forming out of it, like gliding out, made of ice itself, reaching down very quietly for what looks like where Emmanuel's head is. This massive claw of ice opens its palm and wraps around his head, not quite touching his scalp. I'm gonna shout out for Manny. Manny Duck! <laughs> I must say, as a DM, I was very amused by the silence, because I was just imagining Theo yeah. being like, now let's see where this goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, well, uh, what, what are you doing there, Theo? <laughs> Manny, what's your, uh, what's your AC real quick? 14. 14? Manny, mm -hmm. there's a snapping sound as Fio yells at you, and you duck down as you hear a clamp, this almost cement-like snapping sound above your head uh, as you duck out of the way. And Fio, as this happens, you see this arm, this hand, retract back into the ice. There was, there was, there was like a nasty hand trying to reach for your head, Manny. Uh. Um. Yeah, she's gotta die. So. Uh. I'm gonna try to shoot, uh, the spot where it retracted into with Magistrate. Real quick. Uh huh. I need, to, I need to know where you're all are gonna be on a map. Oh boy. It's math time. Uh, it's uh, math time. Then. Can I light my um, my uh, my flame on my glaive? Um, we're going. You can in a sec. Yes. Cool. Give me give me one momo here. Just a singular momo. Momo. Just one. Momo. 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 -ma 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 -ma. And then they don't have a token there, but Ovet's up there with the generator. That should be all of you as this happens. For the, uh, yes, anything that you guys want to do right now that would take an action or what have you, go ahead and do it. As you fire your weapon where the ice was, it hits the ice and just bounces off. The bullet doesn't seem to cause any damage. Well, I will get my gun at the ready. I will turn on the flashlight. <laughs> will summon my echo. <laughs> One sec. I just add the light spell to Nicolo. Oh, do you already have it on? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think so. Maybe. Oh, do somebody. I... I don't think I have it. There. There we go. All right. Theo, roll me another perception check. Okay. As you fire at that space. You see something moving inside the ice, but it doesn't quite... It, it's hard to make out its shape. It almost looks like ripples in a water, like... like the same kind of distortion that oil and water has moving within the ice. Something that has the same consistently gliding through it, but is changing its internal composition as it moves. There's something in the ice, guys! Huh. What the hell? I don't know! I would like DM, to... would I know like of everybody? anything kind of like this? Everybody roll initiative. Let's do it. 
Yo! Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. That's not bad. Not bad. Could be worse. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. That's not bad. Not bad at all. No bad at all. Not bad at all. <laughs> Everybody rolled <laughs> initiative? Oh, yeah, you did. As you guys all prepare for it, you hear the sound of screeching again and flapping. Large wings moving, coming from back the way you came. Going to the top of initiative real quick. As you guys see, uh, Gino, you can't see through your own, uh, you can't see through uh, the senses of your boy, right? Nope, not yet. <sighs> All right. Just yet. You guys see large wings flapping. You see a shape moving on the other side of ice. As you see a creature uh, careening down the hallway, up above you, about 20 feet removed, high up above higher than you. One second while I grab it. So you see the frosty form of one of these boys. Ooh. A large reptilian looking bat. A long tail coming off of it. Its body itself, about the size of a fully grown man. As it comes out, its wingspan struggling to not catch on the sides of the icy walls around you as it moves. You see its tail has a large hooked uh, ice protrusion coming off of it that shapes roughly uh, into what looks like a pincer. Ice covers its back, forming spikes that strike off behind it. As it looks at you, see its body bloats irregularly with this blue glow seeming to make parts of it expand kind of randomly inside with a soft glow coming from under its skin. As it looks at you, it lets out another screech as it moves. Oh, you're a fast boy. You're a fast little piece of shit boy. It's true. <laughs> Crawl through the walls looking for me. <laughs> looking for me. <laughs> looking for squeak. <laughs> so it flies over the lot of you. It seems to ignore your echo as it moves. Oh. As it comes out, it lets out a screech that reverberates around the area. Intense enough that it feels like it would almost shatter this ice if it wasn't irregularly strong. With that, Gino, you'd be up next. Take okay. everything you had to move there. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna send my echo up. Right up to it. Alrighty. And, uh... You're up there now, echo. And I'm going to just fucking wail on this little Neuvern looking bastard. Oh. It does look like a Neuvern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Pokemon. 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 All right. All right. Yeah. It's a Pokemon, Pokemon that looks like that. Got it. Also, <laughs> an, uh, there, by the way, uh, an extension I added, but I haven't gotten to show off. I put an extension in that when it's your turn, there's a tiny crown above your head. Oh, oh nice. Oh, there's there. So you always know whose turn it is, including with creatures. Isn't that cool? All right. No you go for that attack. No that misses. No yeah. Imagine. All right. Heckin. Have a, you know what? Have a style point. More style on your ass. Here we go. You attack. That hits. Yay. Heckin. Yaw. Strike. It deals 13 damage. There's this curious effect where as it goes up, you notice that your, uh, your echo is not reflected in any of the surfaces of the ice. Hmm. Interesting. You've never seen it reflected in anything, in fact. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Fun little fact. Goes for the attack, strikes it as it does. Uh, this cold mist pours out of the wound that you leave on it. It lets out another screech as it's struck. About to hit it again. Unleash incarnation. Meow. That's a hit. Absolutely, that's a hit. Yeah. Hell yeah. So close to a crit. Oop. <laughs> and that's a fucking style point. Style point. When you're hitting up the back, you get a style point. And, uh, why not? This is what Gino does. He action surges immediately. <laughs> <laughs> when you can rest for five minutes and get it back, it's, there's really no reason not to. Fucking. Biao! It takes. Ooh. It's yeah, That's a hit. Go ahead and deal damage to it. 17 hits. Nice, Sue. 
16 more damage. As you uh, hit yeah. it, you notice it lets uh, it stops screeching as much whenever you hit it at this point. Seems to like move more slowly, and you notice that the uh, strange uh, expansions within its body stop going down, and its body starts slowly expanding out with this bluish energy building up inside of it. Hmm. Interesting. Fucking have another. That's yeah. a hit. Fuck yeah, dude. That's another 17 damage. I wish I wasn't already maxed on style points. I'd be getting so many. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. What's our max again? Four. It's a four? Okay. Yeah. Again, another Efficiency in low, bonus plus person. one. Mm-hmm. Coming at you. Final attack. Boom. That's a hit. Yeah. Boom. There it is. Oof. All right. And that's him. Marile? Is it time, boys? I think uh, it's time. time. It's time, time for it's whatever time you're talking for, about. Is it time for some red collider and hope we knock it prone? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for some red collider and we we'll get up to this fucker so I can see him in HD. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, oh, my eyes are tearing. <laughs> what is red? What is red collider? It's that thing where me that I can shoot them with a twenty foot cone. It doesn't care if they're in the air or not. <laughs> and if they fail the strength saving throw, they get knocked prone. Oh fuck yeah! And then we can beat them good? up. <laughs> Mario has favorite dog move. Pile. Prone. <laughs> you're, you're prone now. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, a strategy that has solved all problems in Marile's life at all points. It, it really has. <laughs> it's like, what can I do? I can knock it. Oh, oh yeah, good enough. Also, his also his speed is lowered by ten feet. That's the thing I have to remember. Alrighty. Uh, oh yeah. yeah just... just gotta make sure I'm doing this properly. It takes first. I have to do the save on him, right? Yes. Okay. E. He fails. Yes. Yeah. Rush towards yeah. him, bring a conjure fire into the shape of a bull-like construction and fire it upwards towards him. It hits him. As it does, you notice the bluish glow inside of it begins to subside as it heats up. Go ahead and uh, roll your damage against him. Uh, wah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is incinerated above Good you. Good job, guys. <laughs> what? We, we did oh it! <laughs> what? Oh, way to fucking go! <laughs> what? We had high fives with Mario. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gina did do an absurd amount of damage onto it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you want to do? It is incinerated. There's a moment of peace, and then you hear more screeching coming from farther down the hallway. Ah, uh, there okay. it is. Oh, there's more where that came from. Wonderful. Um, I, I, I think that's me because I wasn't expecting to get this far. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, maybe that's me. <laughs> you did. 70 Would that have destroyed damage. my echo? That cone. Uh, hey, we, a, we'll say it could have been angled. Cone. It could have been angled in such a way as to not okay, hit cool. you. Yeah. G- Manny. Gino did seventy-eight damage. <laughs> Ah. Just emerging about halfway, you turn, and with all the flames, you see the this they begin to form, uh, T-1000 style, out of the material of the ice. You see just this large construct-looking creature, this uh, vaguely humanoid-looking thing made of ice, emerging. I'm gonna quickly find... Do you see one of these boys? Reaching mm. out. Ooh. Forming out of the ice oh, behind so Oh, jeez. Ah. He's so cute. <laughs> he kind of is, weirdly. As it reaches towards you again. And it is going to try to attack you. Uh-oh. There's a part of me in a different universe that loves you, but right now I think you stink. <laughs> <laughs> Strikes down at you. And it hits. Of course it does, I'm a manual. <laughs> it hits yeah. dealing. 24 damage to you. Oh. Oofers. 
Was that All bludgeoning? Right. It then the makes its next three attacks. Uh, yes, that was bludgeoning. Cool. It's then going to make its second attack as it strikes at you. It, br it Part of its body reforms and reshapes, coming at you with another claw as it strikes. And that's a hit. Uh, Comes out, hits you, Manny. You take another 20 points of damage. Oh my god! Then as it does... It begins slinking back into the ice. Oh, get back here! Gliding <laughs> into it and disappearing. By the time it leaves your range, it is already Zimbal. out of it. Yeah. Arden. There's nothing around. <laughs> <laughs> um, not a lot I can do. Can you guys not see the crown? No. I, I oh, can't. you guys, it's only its only for the no. DM. Well, it's useful for me, at least. Aw, oh, fuck, I wish you guys could see the cute crown. Darn it. No. <laughs> Dang it. I hadn't had a turn yet, so I couldn't know. <laughs> oh, man. Is there, any, is there uh, a thing I have to click to make it so you can see the crown? I want you to see the crown. see the crown. I guess maybe it probably doesn't know when to hide it from us. Polymorphism, yeah, that's true. Equip the fox. We're gonna find it. Better combat if I kick caboodle status indicators. A king has no effect. I can't show you the crown. Yeah. What's even the point of oh, playing this game? It. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's really cute crown. New highlights, Logan. I'll see it then. Well, you won't because you no, see you the won't. player side that <laughs> oh, I record right. off my laptop. One sec. I'm taking. Oh, you're right. Hold on. I tried. Hold on. I need to just quickly grab this real fast. Copy it. Hold on. You all are great and deserve this. One moment. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this cute little crown! Oh, it's pretty cute. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Look at this cute little crown! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 just, know, just know that when it's your turn, that's what I see. <laughs> <laughs> just know that when it's your turn, you're a king. They are all kings. There's not... Uh, Keep your head up, King. Your crown's falling. Oh, I know what to do. I'm gonna cast Blur on myself. <laughs> That's good. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Because there's nothing really else to do right now. Um. So when he's yeah, there it is. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Wait. Did I do it on myself? Yep. Okay. Um. The the ice elemental, uh, I can't see it anymore within like the the wall, right? Not without making a in. perception check. Hmm, I use my action to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. To do the thing I just did, so I can't do that. Um. Really, all I can do. Alrighty. I can't hold a bonus action, right? No, unfortunately. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, then that's me. All right. You guys hear screeching as another creature comes wisping around the, the side of the ice. Another hellbat comes in and swoops down to attempt to attack Marile. It swoops in over you. It's going to go for two attacks on you. The first is going to be a bite. Goes into attack. It rolls a nat one. Nice. Second, tries to rake you with its talons, does so, that hits, it takes fire damage as it, uh, as it stri- as it strikes you, the flames from your devil arm cause it to recoil a bit as it burns, um, but it doesn't seem to care about it all that much. Um, doesn't appear to be vulnerable or anything, it's hit, hurt normally by it. It is then going to deal damage to you. Goddamn Noiburns and their dragon typing making it null damage for you take, <laughs> You take right? 20 damage as it rakes Ow. you with its ice-coated claws. Ow. Yikes. <laughs> These boys don't this play around. This is a normal DMS. Marley is taking damage. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It then flies up slightly into the middle of you, looks around with a strange intelligence, and lets out another screech. Nicola. I don't like it. Garaw. Garaw. I will move over here. Uh, 
with my bonus action, I'm going to cast uh, basically right on uh, Emmanuel. Uh, I want to cast Healing Spirit. Alrighty. Uh, making sure that I can put it inside of. Uh, yeah, I can put it inside of a inside of a place that's already taken care of. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I will I will make a little I make make a little healing spirit go over Emmanuel. Uh, it says I can make it look like a beast, so it'll be a cat. Um, Aww. <laughs> uh, it'd be like a little bit. It'll be like a little 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 best steady cat that I remember. Um, and uh, whenever he starts his turn or anybody moves within there, they can get healed a D6. Nice. Um, and, and that was that my bonus six action. times. Mm -hmm. And that was my bonus action. Uh, is it six times? Wait. You spell uh, cast and your plus one. Oh, yeah. No, no that would be four. That would be five. Times oh, sorry. I, for some reason, I thought, right, it's not maxed. It's, it's safe I don't to have assume 20s that he has 20s in everything. In all, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Just most of the anyway. So make sure you <laughs> apply the effect to yourself to be concentrating on it. Mm -hmm. What? Right, and then I'll just mark down four for that for the six. Cool. Oh, it should be. It should be uh, five. Did your five? All right. Yeah, four plus one. Um, and then I'm going to I'm going to give that boy a shoot. All right, do a shoot. You do that. You put your hand out. The little, a little white cat spirit appears. Then mimics the black cat spirit that he has. You raise your rifle up at the uh, frost hellbag. Go ahead. Uh, Haya. You fire. That hits. Haya. Good rolls today. Good rolls oh today. God. Yeah. Holy yeah, heck. Rolls. You deal twenty-two damage to it. Oh. Are you gonna Hi stop? Wait. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm maxed out. Uh, I mean, speaking of which, I guess I'll... I, I mean, what even is the point of me using one? <laughs> You'll never need them. If you add 12 to your goddamn damage roll. I'm going to use one. <laughs> Just for fun. For the, sa for the satisfaction of being able to get them again. I'm glad I used one. <laughs> yeah. You hit. That was a low roll for me. Although... You still would have hit. <laughs> you would have. If you didn't. There you go. <laughs> Takes another 14. And uh, that's me. Alrighty. Bang, bang. Unless he's concentrating on magic, I don't yeah, think he, he is. is not. <laughs> Gino. Magic doesn't exist. <laughs> yes. This is a very angry song. It's DMC, baby. <laughs> Love it. The form oh, of another shoot. beast made of ice. Ah, another geez. ice elemental emerges from the other side. As it does, Gino. Hmm. Uh, it is going to attack you, but rather than it, like hit you directly, it puts its hands out to the side and seems to drag like... I, this is going to sound weird because you're going to be like, that's just water, Logan. It drags liquid ice back from behind <laughs> it towards you. It still looks like ice. It's just moving like water. Okay? It's not water. It is this viscous, like... <laughs> it, that's, you know what? I don't know you guys anything. I don't need to convince you that's what it's doing. That's what it's doing. It's moving ice like water. too stupid water, to know the difference. He's but it's not flushy at you. <laughs> It's it pulls slush. it in it's towards slush. you and pushes it onto you. Okay. It, it attacks. It nat 20s. Ooh, no. Ooh. Actually, hold on a second here. Alright. Sporty um, water's coming at you. Where are you, Talamonia? Here you are. Uh. Heckin. This one. There is a yeah. difference, and y'all can make fun of me if you want, but there's a difference. <laughs> it's, it's slush. It's fine. It's not slush. It's this perfectly clear, smooth surface material. It's like, there's no ripples, there's no nothing. It's just... Yeah, slush. Mm, that's not what slush is. Slush isn't is... It in... like, isn't it like packed ice? <laughs> kind of. It's just like this perfectly... It looks like glass, but it's moving like water. Yeah, slush. I'm gonna Do use, you know uh... what slush is? <laughs> 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 All right, what are you what are you doing? I'm using unmovable object. Uh, mm. Remind me what it does. It uh, as a reaction to take damage from an attack or effect, you can spend three style points to alter the properties of the shield. Uh, you gain resistance to the triggering damage type for one hour, All including right, against you. the triggering damage itself. Cool. Give yourself resistance against cold then. 
Okie doke. I can... Probably a good thing to do, because it's about to do some gnarly damage. Heck yeah. It pulls it down on you and immediately tries to encase you in this material. Uh. You take 19 damage. Reduced Ooh. from 39. Ow. I then Ooh. need to you then need to Ow. make a constitution save. Okie doke. Good, Which though. you succeed! Yeah! You manage to push against it and avoid being trapped in this ice. And then, Whew. as this is going on, it is going to back up, back into the ice. Can I attack it with my. Oh, I can't, I just did my Because once it's Shit. out of your. Yeah, also, once it's out of your range, it's in the wall. Ah. <laughs> Theo! Habla! And then, um. uh, Manny, you're on deck. Okay. I am. Alright, so this big fat fucker there. We also have this stupid piece of shit, Ice Elemental. So, I'm going to, um. Make a perception check, because I'm pretty. I'm pretty alright at those, and I'm going to try to locate a boy. That would be your action, just so you know. Uh huh. Okay, which. Locate a boy? Where are you trying to locate one? Uh. Around uh, where one popped out by Manny before. Okay, roll me perception. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna put a style point into it. <laughs> gonna look with style. Black bars come in around your eyes. <laughs> what do you see with your stylish eyes? Whoa! Whoa! Yo! You can keep track nice of it. You see check. it. <laughs> it's a twenty. Whatever. You, as you as you look towards it, you can Theo having noticed it before. You can keep track of it now. When it's in the ice, you can see its very small movements. The change in consistency inside the ice as it moves within it. It's hard, but you can keep track of it now as long as it's in there. Okay. And previously, my bullet bounced off of it. Yes. Okay. Just remember. This ice appears to be. Inhumanly hard, impenetrable uh, to anything you guys have tried to do so far. Okay. Um, that's gonna be me tracking the boy. All right, that's you. Another screech. He's coming around the corner. Another bat. <gasps> another fucker. Another motherfucker. Hey, you. Do what I want. There we go. Manny, this one swoops in towards you. <laughs> Comes into attack. It's gonna go for a bite. Bring it, jerk! You can't bite me. Goes for a bite. It hits. Ah! Leave him alone. <laughs> it strikes you, dealing seven damage. It's then going to go for a talons attack, which hits. I to deal seven damage to your face. Oh, I'm you're so, so sorry, dead. Manny. You're so dead if I'm conscious after no! this. No! <laughs> Don't worry, he's fine. <laughs> As it does that, because oh, yeah. it, it hit a creature with both attacks, it's going to use its bonus action to make a hooked ice tail attack against Mati Lay. Yeah. Which hits, it takes recoil fire damage. Mati Lay, you take a total of 13 damage, but... Ow. As it strikes you, it hooks into you. You are grappled by it. As it grapples you, you're gonna occupy the same space. It moves up, and it's going to pull you 10 feet into the air with it. Oh my god. Oh god, uh, you think they're huge? No. Does it have the, enough yeah. movement to do that? Damn. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a flying creature. They always have ridiculous movement. Uh. Heck. As it pulls you up, you know, the, the bodies of this thing, like, not counting its wingspan, the bodies of these things are almost the size of a full-grown adult. These are huge. Mm -hmm. They're like Chawazow. They're like a po <laughs> they are, in fact, like other Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just describe <laughs> things using Weaver. Pokemon from now on. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> it's like a golem. Well, I hate to do this to you, Manny, but <laughs> your first turn at level six, roll a death save. Oh, he's fine. Well, he, 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 he heals him. Oh, right. It heals you. Oh, right. Go ahead and apply yep. that. Sorry. Niccolo, get him. I yeah. don't hate to do this to you. Get up. Nice, nice heal. 
What the fuck just happened? Why am I on the ground? <laughs> Why am I that in thing the air? Went up. <laughs> I stand up. All right. It's like okay. Mary's favorite phrase. <laughs> uh, I am going to. Uh, yeah, why not? I'm going to inflict wounds the bat that hit me. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, they both hit you by this point. I think they both. One carrying Marley. Okay. And he is going to be the dead, uh, hopefully. Uh, where are you? First level spells. You guys just hear as this, as this is happening, the sound of tools mm. working. You just hear a, I understand that things have gotten bad back there, but can you guys try to keep it a little bit more calm? If anything shakes, I might... Ah, oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, 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 screw it. All right, come back here, you. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, just... Yeah! <laughs> just in, in the background. Yeah? Well, you're doing real good. <laughs> <laughs> Screwdriver in mouth. 16. <laughs> that hits. That just hits. Day. Do it a death. Day. You hit it with necrotic damage. It takes Ooh. ten. It seems to resist the damage. Ah, beans! Uh, <laughs> and then I'm gonna use quicken spell. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast blink on myself. Alrighty. Okay. Remind me, just read to me again what blink does, because it's one of those spells I always forget the text. Uh, of. So it lasts for a minute. Um, at, at the end of each of my turns, I roll a d20. Mm -hmm. uh, on a roll of 11 or higher, I vanish from the plane and uh, appear in the ethereal plane. Um, if I'm already in the ethereal plane, the spell just doesn't work. I can't cast it there. Yeah. Um, at the start of my next turn, I reappear within 10 feet uh, of where I was or the spell ends. Uh, I'll reappear uh, on the material plane 10 feet from where I was or the nearest unoccupied space if it's unavailable. Gotcha. All right. Back to the top of the turn order then. Uh, Gino. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have heckin' Senior Echo over here. Just float on over to that boy there. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, gonna hit, I'm gonna hit it. Alrighty. I'm gonna hit it real good. Heckin'. Hit it real. Heckin' swing that heckin' big ol' sword. That's a, a crit. crit! That's a crit! Fuck yeah! Cool. Don't you do an extra thing on crits now? I do. do, you do it's, uh, it has disadvantage on all attacks until the start of my next turn now. And Alrighty. its speed is lowered by 10. Alrighty. <laughs> if it gets more attacks. <laughs> if it does. I don't imagine these things to really be vulnerable to those effects. Yeah. But, uh... Go swing it again. It's not... I mean, I, I plan to kill it, so... Another crit. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I plan to kill it. <laughs> so then I kill it. It's, it's not dead! It's not dead! Fuck it! Impressive. Well, <laughs> at least incarnation. I, I, I refuse to let you live now. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Perish! <laughs> you hit. Yeah. It dies as there it does, though, as you hit it. Its body swells. It becomes almost this ball of this mass of blue energy, and it explodes. Who's within 15 feet of it? You are. You are. Woo, it's 10 feet above the ground, so we would be it. down, and then five. So Manny and Marile are within. Fuck. <laughs> so one. Everybody. I've got to go. Could you roll me a <laughs> Could you roll me a Constitution saving throw for the Echo? Uh, sure. I can go on save. Nineteen. Okay, so it does not get hit by this. Uh, well, it takes half rather. Uh, so you two. It's gonna die either way. Yeah. You both take half as it explodes, dealing. Uh oh. Nine cold damage to both of you. No! <laughs> Marile, as you Can fall, I... you're, you're gonna take 1d6 falling damage. Five. Can I get cold damage because of the double arm? Cold damage and extreme temperatures are not the same thing. Oh, okay. I just wanna make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because cold damage is, like, really, like, 
intense, localized cold. cold. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. One second. You're gonna take another five damage as you fall, mm-hmm. Marile. Um. It's like Ice Beam, the Pokemon move. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh good. Now they understand. <laughs> this just becomes a Pokemon game. <laughs> 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 So blink doesn't go away when you lose concentration, does it? It super doesn't. <laughs> All right, good to know. You're not blinked right now, though, right? You're still there. Aaron, my boy. No, uh, no, no, I'm still here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I, uh, it only happens at the end of my turn. Gino, still your turn. Uh, um. Bye, other Gino. I don't. Yeah, bye, other Gino. Uh. I guess I'll just bonus action, uh... I can't, I don't have any, uh, Healy Do's that I can drop on him. So I guess I'll just Healy Do myself? Quick, take him out of the square, then put him back. <laughs> Pretty sure it doesn't work like that. Uh, what the word say it do- I'm kidding. <laughs> does it? He has to, he has to move into it, not, not you. I see, I see. Um, yeah, I'll just second win myself. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. Mighty nice. Light, you're no longer grappled. I'll get rid of that. Okay, so that's you. Uh, yeah. Mighty Lay, and then Arden, you're on deck. Okay, so the spell hold person is not a bonus action, right? Correct. These also are not people. Also wouldn't work on these things. Yeah. These God. are not humanoids. Damn it! But he's shaped like Quasimodo! <laughs> you, you also can't see it. Okay, I'll give you that. Theo can keep track of it, but you can't see it right now, so you can't hit it. Okay, because I click my icon and I can see him. I did that for Theo. Okay. My also magical if, gemstone eyes can see him. Also, if anybody wants a heal, they can move into Manny's space and then move out and get a heal. It's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm still a creature, technically. You'd have to move through the space. <laughs> no, you're an object. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> um, it's true. Well, what I'm going to do... Really quick, one sec. Um, I'm going to... What? Ah, eh. What is... What? what is? Oh, it's your thing. Okay, I was like, what is the five-foot marker? <gasps> I'm just trying know. to de-target <laughs> things that one What are you? <laughs> um, What do I want to do? I... I know we use healing well and many, but that's the bonus action. Mm-hmm. So I actually want to let's see, let me look at my other stuff really quick. Uh and then this is sixty feet. That's a big cube. Uh shatter's too big. Uh oh. Well Oh wait. Is that this thing? This is new. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you uh, look at that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just a uh, just a reminder that mm-hmm. you the twisting intervention and dance of coercion are new things you got. Oh yes, yes. I'm not saying they'll necessarily uh, be useful here, but just a reminder that you have those. Yes. Um. Uh. Because I want to I want to do damage to the bat boy, little bat that boy thing here. Mm-hmm. So I'm actually, you know, I think I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm just going to shoot it. Alrighty. I will note uh, if in case you care, the Dance of Coercion uh, works mm-hmm. on any creature. Is it bad? It is a bad. <laughs> is it bad? That's, that's the type I'm of creature. Gonna, I'm just going to shoot it. Alright, go ahead. Um, I have to do the plus eight first. Yep. Right? Okay. That hits. Yeah. And then I do this. Shoot it? Should you not? And yes, you do extra fire damage. So you fire at it, you hit it with it. A lot. You see the uh, the cold within it seems to suppress whenever it takes fire damage oh, from your attack. You I did the... the wrong one because oh. they're both 1d6 plus 5 piercing fire damage. <laughs> they both do the same thing, so I accidentally clicked the wrong one. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, actually, yeah. the one you just did, Devil's Kiss, that one does psychic damage. Uh, it would have been the same damage either way, though, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Um, 
And then with that, um, I will use. Hmm? Yeah, you're more. You're technically five feet away yes. from it. I was, you would have. Okay. If you'd been closer to it, you would have had disadvantage on that. Yeah. Um, and then I will use my bonus action to do a third level heal. <clears throat> Why can't I find anything? Here it is, healing word. And I will use that on Emmanuel. Raise Manny. Wah. Wah. Not like yeah. will do. I <laughs> mean! <laughs> 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 then the big monster goes and takes down Manny. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh. Thank <laughs> God that's not gonna happen again. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that will be me. All right, I'm just gonna. Looks like bringing a child into battle is a bad idea. <laughs> Alrighty. Ah, you could swap him and marry him, and the same thing would be happening, and you know it. The ice <laughs> elemental <laughs> appears yeah. out from it. <laughs> Oh uh, no. Reaches forward is gonna go for it. Right <laughs> it's gonna go for an encase attack on uh on Emmanuel. We'll just it does stop. the same thing, it pulls out um like ice, morphs it, and tries to pile it onto Emmanuel. Rolling. And it hits. Shocking. Well, how about you in case D's nip? <laughs> Nuts! It only does seven damage! <laughs> it rolled a one, a two, a one, and a three! <laughs> These oh snake nuts! <laughs> you then need to make a con save. Who throws his snowball, really? <laughs> and you succeed! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow. Wow. It is then going to recede back into the ice. Ah, damn! Uh, <laughs> you go to go first. Arden. Uh, Niccolo, you're on deck. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna whack it. No, I'd whack I'm it. Give it a whacking. <laughs> give it a good whacking. Doing a whacking on uh, it. Whack him, Jig. I have a question regarding uh, Howling Smite. Mm hmm. Um. It doesn't like uh, it doesn't say like it's like an action or anything to activate it. Uh, so can I activate it like before I roll damage on something like a divine smite would? Uh, you can. For the purposes of this, sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Want to make sure. I'll also, note you are. Um, Oh, uh, no, you're technically not in dim light or darkness, because heckin' yep. there's light being... That's a... Yeah. Nicolo. Yep. I has flashlight! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm a whack it. Give it a whack! Play. Uh, why do I have disadvantage? Against the, uh, the Frost Hellbat? Um, yeah. The reason for that, you see, that you have disadvantage is because you... Hold on. I think, I think... Grant this attack. Why do you have disadvantage? Normal attack, right? Apparently yeah, you don't have proficiency attack. with the armor you're wearing, first of all. That's that's an interesting... What? What's going on there? <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's address that problem. What? Yeah, I've never I seen that notation, but if you look at your attack, it says Glaive plus one, armor non-prof. Roll that yeah. attack again. Yeah. I just re-clicked the button. Roll it again. Yeah, that's what okay, it was. Work. Uh, but we'll still go with whatever uh, the. Let's see, you would have dropped the second 14, so you would have gotten a 15. So you would have missed that one. Nah. And then we'll use that second, second attack. attack you just did. That, that hits, yes. Okay. Uh, Weird. One guess, guess one of us must have accidentally hit the star at some point. I guess, yeah. Um, I'm going to be real with you. Mm -hmm. For all the things I know about 5e. I did not know that not having proficiency with your armor gave you disadvantage on attacks. <laughs> because I've never <laughs> encountered a situation <laughs> where somebody put on armor they weren't proficient with, so I've never had to address the situation. <laughs> I didn't know the that really basic was thing. Was you can't mm. cast spells on armor you're not proficient with. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I knew for sure, but it kind of makes sense, I guess, that you would give you disadvantage. Yeah, it, mm. it messes you. It does, yeah, because you'd be clunky and you don't know how to move and stuff. Like, it makes sense, mm. but I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, I guess so, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend three points to do Howling Smite. Okay. 
and then you just have that on your weapon now. Yes, for a minute. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then... Smack! You strike it. It dies. Did your weapon have fire on it? Yes. It doesn't explode. Nice. <laughs> Cut it in half, it hits hey, the ground, de inflates. Its body turns to ice, but it does not explode. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, and uh, can I get here? Absolutely. Great. Um, that's going to... I believe that's going to be my turn, so... Alrighty. Yeah. Nicolo. I'm gonna get here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna hold my action to shoot something if it comes out of a, a thing of ice. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so. He's there. He doesn't have to come out to hit you. He Part of him will appear. <laughs> so what's gonna happen here is you can make your attack, Nicolo. But hey. he's gonna have superior cover. That's perfectly fine. What a rude bitch. <laughs> Show and roll your attack as, <laughs> as a hand reaches out to try to grab at Arden. Go ahead and roll an attack oh, as you I, shoot I at it. I targeting the wrong one. Yeah, in fact, are tar we're targeting the wrong one, yes. Because I can't see the other one you targeted. I made it. He's visible now. Yeah, he's visible. Not showing. Oh, there we go. I think I got him. Yeah, you're targeting the right one now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Make sure you hit the superior cover button. Yep, I'm gonna go for another uh, style point as well. Hiya. And. Hiya. You hit. Hiya. You deal well. minimum damage. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, fucker! <laughs> Reminds me. Take that! As you shoot it. Arden, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be nice here and say that the attack, uh, hitting it and chunking off part of its arm before it hits you, alerts you to it. It's not gonna have advantage on its attacks against you. That's good. Now he has disadvantage. It's true. He attacks. He misses. The first one scrapes your arm. You duck away. The second one, another claw emerges, tries to attack you. That one hits. That makes sense. You take. 20 damage, and you maintain concentration. Yay. <clears throat> the hand then disappears back into the ice. What, a... what the fuck? How do we deal with these bullshit things? <laughs> <laughs> they're a bunch of fucking... Ah, they're a bunch of cowards! <laughs> All I don't know, man. Um... Because I'm still tracking the first ice elemental, yeah? Yeah, you can still see it. Okay. Oh, fuck, these are all bunched. Makes my life really difficult when I want to cast a thing that is a cone of fire. Out of the hallway's really tiny. You <laughs> can't not be bunched. Yeah, it's true. Well, there's more to this room, <laughs> by the by. <laughs> Sounds like an excuse. Uh, anyway, um, back to being cute. I'm going yeah. to. Um. <laughs> One second, because you guys walked through the room to get here. I'm going to put a thing on the map real quick. boop -a doo Where are you? Uh, here, I'm going to move Madile real quick. Oh, Madile, you don't have any light on you. She doesn't have dark vision. Yeah. <laughs> I have light. Kind of I, do ha I, do, I do have light from oh, yeah. the fire There thing. is... Uh, if you guys oh, you click on Madile real quick, everybody, I'm going to give you a brief tour of this room with Madile because you walked through it on the way in here. Oh, I thought that was completely covered in ice. Yeah. Uh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I don't see what window in here. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you for the tour of the MSMR, I appreciate you. Welcome. So I'm gonna scoot my wee boot. And that boot. I'm gonna get two, I can. There, so I'll get my money. And then I'm going to. Um. 
Use my bonus action to summon my flame blade. Okay. And because I'm tracking the boy, I'm going to um, hold my action to to bap him with with the flame blade. Okay. You summon the flame blade. Uh, there's a concentration effect for that, I believe. Yep. Okay. I got it. I was about to put it on too. Yep. You put that on yourself. You hold your action to attack it if it comes out. And yep. Manny. I am. Real I'm quick. not going to hold any sort of action because. First of all, <laughs> you're, you're going to benefit. But before you do that, I just really quick want to note, real fast, mm -hmm. just this fun little fun little occurrence. There, noted. Also, yeah. Look at all those sixes. Yeah. You recover yeah. four hit points. I won't go there. Also, you passed through that space to get there, right? Um, Theo? No, I started in the space. Not you, Theo. Uh, oh. technically I would have. So one of those heals would also have gone to Theo. Okay. Ah, crap. She's it started. <laughs> Unfortunately. I think you choose when you do it, don't you? Uh, maybe. With the caster? Double check, maybe? Uh, let me look. Healing spirit. <clears throat> You can cause the spirit to restore it. So if you don't want to, you don't have to. Ah, oh, not doing that then. Uh, it's I still not, got three. Not, is, I don't think it's... Is it your choice or is it their choice? Uh, you. I'll, you would refer to the caster. I would. Hooray! I feel yes. like, yeah, because... Otherwise, enemies, enemies could be able to get wander it. into the circle <laughs> yeah. and they would benefit from the heal. Yeah. But I still have three. Yep. Mm. All right. Mm. Manny... When you go that way, it is going to take a reaction to attack you. <laughs> well. <laughs> As it comes out, I will note, Fio, you may attack it. It has superior cover. Okay. So this advantage. And I don't want... Wait, disadvantage. No, you don't have disadvantage. You click the superior oh, yeah, cover button. Yeah, that, that, that was my bad. That was my then roll an attack against it with the flame blade. That still hits. Ooh, Go ahead and roll damage. It takes 26. However, it is then going to attack Manny. Who it should not have advantage against because he stood. Uh, I dropped yes. the first 14. It still hit, though. Yes. <laughs> it shouldn't have done that good, but it did. It's good. Well, this might solve my conundrum. <laughs> also, did we? <laughs> no, never mind. I'm going to go over attack, and... Yep. Sorry, Manny. <laughs> Which means you're still there. Um, my turn ends. I disappear. And Manny blinks. No. You're back yeah. at the start of your next turn, right? Yeah, I reappear within hey, ten which feet. Is good. <laughs> you killed him. That's a good thing. You come back and start your turn. I heal you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Manny. I'm sorry, Aaron. There we uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> this <crap>. is great. <laughs> Gino. Did you, you fucking killed him! On blink? What? Uh, blink is not concentration. Oh, it's not. Never mind then. <laughs> uh, I can't see him. Uh, uh, what do I want to do here? Beat up some ice. Uh, it doesn't take damage though. Yeah. Fuck this place. <laughs> I mean, I saw I saw where the like the hand came out from, right? Mm-hmm. So I could try hitting. I could try slashing there, I suppose. Um. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I guess. Oh. I'll uh, bonus action summon my echo, and uh, I don't want to summon him next to me. I guess. Uh, not over here. Not there. Ah. Here. Here we go. Oh, what's up? 
Alright, roll your attack. Okay. Why are you... Go where I want you to go. There we go. I should have hit negative five on that. Uh, no. You shouldn't have. Oh. Because you're not rolling against the superior cover. You are rolling against the ice, which you do nothing to. I see. Okay. Well, if that didn't work... Then fuck me. Um... Uh, I can't do anything. I, that's my turn. Marilei, Arden, you're on deck. So, so uh, describe to me what holding an action means. It, you take an action and you uh, describe a trigger for it, like set creature comes within range, or set person falls unconscious, or this thing moves. Mm -hmm. And then when that trigger happens, you can use your reaction to use that action, even if it's not your turn. Uh, can I do that with Dance of Coercion? Dance of Coercion's a bonus action. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. <coughs> um. Hmm. Okay, well, there went my idea. <laughs> my idea is gone. Um. I, I can't see them either, huh? Unfortunately not. The only one that can keep track of them right now is Fio. And only the uh... one. Yeah. You could always roll to see if you could keep track of them. Uh, can I? That would take your yep. action. Oh, perception. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, go ahead. Uh, where's my snare of skills? Uh, perception. E. Yep, you can now ice elemental one. You can now track its movements within the ice. Uh, okay, that's this one. Okay. Now that I can track it, what do I do? What can I do with it? Uh, you can see it. Uh -huh. Beyond that, it's up to you to figure out. Yeah, anything you feel like needs co like eye contact or like being able to have a sight on it uh -huh. potentially uh -huh. could work now. Okay. But that's my turn, right? That's you your action, action, at least. Ooh. You still have your bonus action if you want to use it on something. So then I can dance of coercion. If you want to. Yes. All right. You I would to... like to do the thing where I dance and bring sexy back. It's true. All right, roll dance of coercion. Uh, do you, did you read it? Do you know how to use it? Um, it says here, um, wisdom saving throw against your spell save DC. Oh, is it wisdom? Uh, it yeah, is wisdom. It says here, I have the wrong save wrong? listed for the thing. I'll just change that. There you go, wisdom. Um, this can be. This could be an older one that I'm looking at. No, that's so correct. I... That's correct. Uh, you're right. I just had the wrong thing set for the ability. Yeah, you roll your. Uh, wisdom save against it from under the effect. Um, as well as I can go to your capacity grapple, the creature must focus on you. You can see you must attempt a wisdom saving throw against your DC on a failed save. That creature is charmed by you for one minute. I uh, can't promise you that it, it can be charmed. It might not be able mm -hmm. to. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. So just go ahead and roll that wisdom save against it. I think I did this wrong. Uh, you have to roll, like, drag that onto it. However... Oh. Uh, yeah, you did that against yourself, I think. I don't know what I do. <laughs> so target, so I, ice I, elemental I, I go one. To... Okay, target. Eh. How do I how do I target again? Uh, do I control click it? Yes. Yep. Okay. And then go and then... on your sheet, find dance of coercion. Oh, that's that's somewhere actually here. It's under your combat stuff. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, found it. <laughs> okay, now found roll it. that wisdom save uh, against him. Click the, wis the button for the okay. wisdom save. Eh. And he failed. And then apply the second effect to him. So he's charmed by you for a minute. He is not immune to it. Uh, he's charmed by you for one minute. And while charmed this way, he rolls uh, minuses 1d4 from all of his attacks, saves, and checks. And he can try to break out of this on each one of his turns at the end of it. Okay, okay. Woo! Me? Um, let's see, just making. Da -da. And once it succeeds against this effect, it is immune to it for 24 hours. Okay. It also, because it's charmed by you, it also cannot attack you. Ah. Mm. 
All right. Messing. Alrighty, that's your bonus action, that's your action. Yes. It then gets to go. <laughs> it's going to... Uh, it's going to attack your... Eh, it's going to step out, it's going to attack you, Fio. You lashed out at Bye. it. A claw comes out of the ice, it strikes towards you. It... Got a nat 20. I was gonna say, like, you just screwed on me, boy? <laughs> Uh, brings its claw down on you. Theo, you take 45 uh, damage and nat 20 your concentration uh, check. Uh, 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 what are you concentrating on? Flame blade. My flame blade. Oh, cool. It's then going to go for a second attack on you. Oh, oh great. That one misses. Okay, good, cool. Then cool, recedes cool, back cool, into the cool, ice. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 I can cool, still cool. see you, you dumb bitch! It rolls. It... <laughs> Does it? That's real bad. It's not gonna... It's gonna have a bad time doing this. It's still coerced. <laughs> it's gonna have a... It's gonna have a hard time breaking out of this. Arden, your <laughs> turn. <laughs> oh, there's not much I can do. I have faith in you guys. Um. Okay. Whenever he pops out, does that qualify as entering Arden's range? Nope. Ah. He is already within oh. Arden's range. I see. Um. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna dash. Um, and when I dash, I, I don't provoke opportunity attacks because of the, the devil arm I have. Alrighty. Where are you gonna dash to? Uh, I wanted to go down the hall, but I can't see the hall. Where did it go? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. And I wanna get here. All right, I'm going to bait it. Roll me a... <laughs> let's say roll me an intimidation check to try to steal its attention. Ah, I'm not very good at those. Uh, uh points! Okay. Oh, yeah, I have one. I'm going to use that. I've got one. May as well use it before I, you know, roll a one. <laughs> um, Funless, this is... Coming. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> 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 Woof. You try as well then. You try to distract it, you try to get its attention. Um you don't see any kind of movement from within the ice. Assuming that's your turn. Yeah, uh, yep. Nicola. Not a lot of, I can't Can I see it no. from here? You haven't done a uh, perception check to try to see it, so you can't. I will Hold my action to shoot something if it comes out of the ice. Okay. <laughs> and that's you? That is me. So it is going to come out of the ice. As it does, though, <laughs> it's going to briefly, uh, just given the weird mishmash of squares here, it is briefly going to share, uh, be adjacent to you when it does. So you will have disadvantage on the attack against it. That is fine. Uh, style point. It is more than halfway out at the moment, though, so it will not have superior cover. Uh, yup. You fire. Oh. That hits. Roll damage. Uh, oh, I should have had disadvantage. Ah, yes. Just roll another d20, and we'll do the math. Okay. Yeah, you hit. <laughs> You hit it, it takes another 13 damage as you strike it, as it doesn't seem to... It takes the damage, a bit of it chunks off, but it keeps its arm raised up. It's gonna go for one attack on you. Let's go! It brings it down on you, its claw strikes you, it hits. Dealing 15 damage. You maintain concentration on uh, whatever you're concentrating on. 
healing spirit. Right. And then brings his claw down on Gino. And it misses. And then recedes back. You guys got this. I have faith in you. I have so much faith in you guys. It's, it's your turn totally you. fine. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Uh, this could go real bad. However, I'm gonna stay where I is. I'm gonna hold my action to bat uh, Ice Elemental 1 when he pops, pops out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna hold my action to to slap him with uh, with my flame blade because it, it's doing doing some chunky nice damage and I like to keep doing that. Alrighty, is that your turn? Yeah. Uh yeah. There's nothing else I want to do with my bonus action. That's that's a whole lot of being new now. All right, Manny, you pop back into existence. You heal. We throw that <laughs> heal. Hiya. Here you go. You're back. Uh, you heal. He's alive. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> what would you like to do, Manny? I take a step to the side! It attacks you. Theo. I don't think Aaron wants to play the game. I did! <laughs> I am going to stand here and I am going to achieve my goal! Theo, it, it comes out, you can roll an attack with, against it with superior cover. Alright, I'm gonna put stop point into it, y'all. <laughs> you should okay. stop me, you icy knave! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I love you, dude. And yeah. That hits. Roll, da roll damage with flame blade against it as it reaches out for air. You deal 22 more damage to it. It then goes for an ice claw nice. attack on Aaron. <sighs> on, Aaron. on Aaron. Um, Not Manny. Sorry. On Aaron. Uh, like, listen. <laughs> he gets to be Manny once he does something. It hits! Yeah. What? Sorry, All right. I'm taking hellish <laughs> rebuke next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was here as shield master. That's what I'm hearing from this. <laughs> and why won't it why won't it drop on you? Drop on him. Is it move the ring? Oh I see. Well, let's let's keep the rings on top of you. So we, if we kept it on top of you it wouldn't be a problem. Okay. You take enough. You're down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then Aaron just doesn't want. I remain. You remain. <laughs> oh no, no! I have a strategy. This isn't me not playing. I have a thing I'm trying to do. Gino. <laughs> it literally goes without saying. It recedes back into the ice. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would like to rage. Smash the I, ice. If forever. only. <laughs> <laughs> Cast disintegrate on the ice. <laughs> um I would like to try to hold my action to grapple it if it comes out again. Either of them. Okay. Well you have to be within range of whatever one you're grappling. Uh I see. Well then, I guess I'll get in. Um... I mean, they have to come closer to you to grapple, right? Or to attack you. Anyway, yes, but I'm just saying so... that that trigger doesn't work because uh, he could come out to there and be out. Yeah. And he could not grapple him. Yeah. So the the condition has to be worded differently. Uh, there's really I, I can't end in anyone's space. I can't get any closer. To you this move, one, at least. You can move your, uh, you can move your boy up. Uh, yeah, 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 that's true. Um, I'll put him over here, and I'll <laughs> occupy his space instead. Okay. So, if one comes out within grappling range, you'll grapple it? Yeah. Okay. Mighty Lay! Okay, this one's still in trance, but it's in the ice, so I can't hit it, right? Uh... Depends on what you're using. 
If you have any spells that say, like, creature you can see, you can cast it on them. Oh. I will note that if you take any actions that are directly harmful to it, then your charm effect will end on it. I mean, that's fair. You can try to find the other one. Um... Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can do that. Uh, but can I only track one of them at a time? No. Oh. Just kind of succeeded against him. Oh. That's good to know. I will try to see if I can find the other one. For the purposes of what we're doing. All right, roll perception. I will do the perception. This is your I action. Will do, do the watcha. I'm going to go ahead and just roll a stealth check, which it, it's not super great at. Oh, that's the wrong one I rolled. But you can see it. Okay, I can see the other boy over here. Mm hmm. That's great. Mm. That's, uh... You can do things to that one without without uh, worrying about your uh, your charm. I can shimmy over here, and I can do. Uh... Hmm. There's there's two things I could I could either play like a bitch like I've been doing and do red collider again. You did just use your action, remember? But that's a bonus action. Red collider? Yeah, then you're good. Yes. Um. Or I can use... If you use on. something that is in a cone, the cone will not penetrate the ice. Oh. You could try to get Manny up again. That is true. Now, I'm looking at Torian Meteor, though. This one is not a cone. Um, it says here, as a bonus action, you can spend style points. Um, it's like thun it's like Thunder Step. Uh, we're gonna fire. So the, if the effect originates from outside the ice, it can it would have to pass through the ice to get it. Um, oh. So I will I will give you the cheat sheet here of if you want something to affect it, it has to basically originate from where it is. Okay. Hmm. You said you had shatter, right? I do have shatter. That's an action. Oh yeah. That's yeah, that's Here. an action. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't leave you a lot of options from what I'm looking at. Um, wait. Nope. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, actually, I can try to charm this one, right? Uh, currently, current level, I think you can only dance a coercion one creature at a time. Uh, okay. Unless well, you use another effect. You, you'd be put in the same position you are now, where then you couldn't do anything to it later. Without no. Your charm. So, Vicious Mockery is psychic damage. Uh, yes, I believe it's, uh, does it say it has to see or hear you? Um, let me look at, uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, I have interpretive expression. So I can just dance like I want to curse it out, and it'll be like, <gasps> I can just offend it with my dance moves. <laughs> so there's two things about that that work. First of all, I like it. I like it is the first thing. Second of all is uh, to use vicious mockery. You only have to be able to see the creature. Um, let's. Oh, oh, it does. It does have to be able to hear you. But you know what? Given your class, sure. I can say you can vicious mockery somebody through dance. I'm about that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna play D and D. I've been looking at this and I'm like, wait a minute, yeah. I can use my bard spells without voice. Does that mean I can offend it by twerking? <laughs> Get it, do it. <laughs> Where the fuck is Vicious Mockery here? To... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm about that. What I do. It fails. Hmm. Discord just uh, decided to restart. People at home, you're gonna have to give us a second, because Discord just heckin' died. <laughs> oh, there's Logan. Okay. I don't also, know what just uh, happened. Discord just died there for a minute. Yep. Where's Marley? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all, hold on. I'm just gonna. Woo! Well, what the. There we go. <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. Uh, um, it. It failed the wisdom saving throw. So, so you then do I the keep... damage and apply the effect. Mm. It takes five damage and then apply the effect to it as well. 
Yeah. yeah. It has disadvantage on its next attack. Is that you? Uh, that, that's me. I found a way to damage it. Ice Elemental 1 is going to go. It's going to go for... Uh, it's going to emerge to attack Theo. I'm going to get okay. your bitch. <laughs> I'm going to... For order of operations, I'd say as soon as it emerges, you could try to. So roll an athletics check against him. Okay, put the style point in. Fucking... Athletics, here we go! You succeed. Uh, yeah! As it reaches out, you grab onto it. It is going to be held there. It cannot recede back in, but it is partially out at this point. Fuck it up! It still has superior right. cover. He's out. During it, He's out. As part of its attack, it is going to go for a nice claw attack on Fio. It strikes. It misses. I'm gonna go for a nice claw attack on Gino. Uh. And it misses. It starts flailing as you hold it. It's, you start pulling it out, trying to wrestle it out from the ice. It starts <laughs> flailing, swiping at you as you begin to uh, drag it out. Arden, your turn. Also, it continues to fail its dance of coercion. It, it is good. Okay. It, it is so unfathomable <laughs> that it could make this DC with the stats it has. Uh, I, I'm gonna... Keep trying to, you know, uh, egg it on. All right, roll me intimidation or persuasion. Your choice. They're both bad. I figured they're the um, same. Intimidation. <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh. Just hanging out. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> you all get the general idea that Arden is trying to lure it over to where he is. Uh, we'll say that was your action. You want anything with your bonus action? Can't see it, so no. Nicolo? That was a persuasion check. I'm just seeing Arden like doing like the come on thing over here. It's like, I'm, I'm busy come right on. now. I'll come over there later. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh. <laughs> I'm going to shoot this ice elemental a lot of time. Hey, superior cover. Remember to yep. count for that. Like that matters. <laughs> I mean, for Nicolo. Might. <laughs> might. Go ahead. I'm going to style point. That's my last style point. Uh, and uh, first yaw. You fire, that hits. Yaw. You shoot, you deal 15 damage to it, a chunk of ice blows off of it. Yaw. That's another hit. Yaw. It takes another 10 damage. I am then looking to and looking to Emmanuel, seeing what he was doing before, looking to everybody, seeing their thing. He is going to doop, 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 doop. He's gonna go through his uh, healing, uh, healing spear, and then get on the other side of Fionnio. Does he? Does he attack me? Yes. <laughs> As you pass in and out of its space, it is going to use its reaction to attack you. Yes. It strikes at you, and it nat twenties. Let's go! <laughs> Strikes oh, you man. four! 49 Ooh. damage! Ah, damn, there goes my healing thing, too. Oh, I, re I recast it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I recast it over Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Make sure to replay the effect. That is, that is me. <laughs> Number two is going to go. Number two is going to have... It's going to move towards you. You uh, know where it is, so it's not going to have advantage, but it is going to attack you, Marile, as it does. You don't have disadvantage on the first attack. It still hits. It takes fire damage as it hits you. Part of the claw melts away as it strikes you, but then it regrows itself, uh, pulling ice from the surrounding area. Uh, it's going to do its damage. Just grabs me mid-booty bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Marile, you are unconscious. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, no. Oh, damn it! I danced too hard. It means your dance of coercion on the other one also ends. Bleh. Bleh. I wasn't doing much anyway. It's fine. He was giving it a negative four, <laughs> no 1d4 and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> oh, I wasn't doing it didn't anything. Stop that, didn't stop that crit, but you know. <laughs> Heckin, um... I'm not a miracle worker. 
<laughs> I just learned that I can vicious mockery via dance. Come on, give me something. It is then going, given the space. After it does that and takes you down, it begins moving yes! out and emerges. You would be able to. <laughs> it would come with intent. Come on, get him! Get him. Go for it. Hey. Him up. Wait, hold on. Am I tar I am targeting him. Good. It walks out of the ice towards you, its lumbering form Come stomping on. along the ground towards you. Yes. You hit it! Woo! Oh, nice! Good. You do strike it, dealing 24, raised up to 27 damage because of the fire. As you hit and it... It can't move. It can't move from there? Uh, yeah. Sentinel, uh, Sentinel uh, right. Sentinel. Right, it stops where it is as you hit it. You strike it and the flames burn through one of its legs. It falls down to one knee, the other one being destroyed, and it starts regrowing the limb. But as it does, it's stuck there. Good. Fucking good. Fia! <laughs> oh, Kidokali. So he's one still one kind of bro. Out, but he, he still has, like, fucking. He has superior cover, cover but he yeah. is attackable. Cool. Soup's cover. And style point with flame blade high up. Please do good. That's a hit. Yay! Nice. Flame blade. You strike. You deal 14 damage total. Woo! Woo! Um. All right. I'm debating. Just a double check thing. Again. You should only be able to cast uh, Flame Blade so many times, right? Because of your thing. It's uh, like, it's like cast it or like use it? Cast, cast. I'm just making sure I have it programmed correctly. I think just once. Yeah, I think so too. I'm just gonna change that. To... Bam. I like, I blinked. I was like, ah, my sheep. <laughs> yeah, you can use an action to make a melee. So you can't use extra attack for the blade, unfortunately. No. But you could use Dragon Surge and attack with it again. Oh shit, you're right. I did kind of forget about that shit. It's been a minute, y'all. <laughs> forgot I was uh, a sword saint. <laughs> kinda. A little bit, yeah, man. Fucking, yeah, we all got a dragon said, Y'all, and uh, hi y'all, bitch. Make sure to hit superior cover and go for it. Um, hi y'all, bitch. Hi y'all. Hi y'all, bitch. Oh. No. That one misses. Um, no. face, I'm uh, overwhelming advance, actually. Roll another d20. Hey. Yo! That one misses. Oh. Oh. Even worse. Even worse. <laughs> cool. Superior cover is a bitch, man. Yep. Uh, uh that's sure that's is. for your Nula. Manny, you regain hit points. Two attacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flame blade can't right. benefit from extra yeah, yeah, attack. Yeah. It's an action to yeah. attack right. flame blade. Otherwise, right. I would. I realized as soon as I said it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had to check. I was uncertain too. Yeah. I did you were gaining two hit points. I also <laughs> took. I also took that freaking uh, opportunity for you, my boy. <laughs> he crawls he away. Crit for you. Over here, I stand up. <laughs> <laughs> you. That's basically your movement. I. uh... Okay, so the way I have to do this, uh, it's partially out right now, right? Uh, yes, it has superior cover against Okay, things. I don't got already shit, so this is gonna be action. I'm gonna use Panacea <laughs> on Marley. Okay. I run over there and I'm gonna heal them for uh, two sorcery points. Remind everybody nice. what Panacea does. Uh, I can spend sorcery points to cast Cure Wounds. Uh, oh, equal to neat. the amount of sorcery points I uh, use up to my max spell level. Nice. Yeah. Get 15 back, and then I am going to freaking quicken. <laughs> <laughs> this is quicken. going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I am casting lightning lure on the ice <laughs> elemental. <laughs> yes! <laughs> This is not going to succeed, and I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it fails. Uh, yeah, <laughs> That's so. So funny. remind me of what the breakdown of what's happening here is. It is going to be pulled ten feet in a straight line towards me. 
All right, I'm gonna be nice here, and I'm going to since we don't really play with a grid. Mm -hmm. Well, we play with a grid, but like a loose interpretation of one. Yeah. I'm going to say ten feet. It kind of squishes everybody as it pulls out, but you use it. Lightning arcs around, it pulls it in towards you, and it emerges, stumbling out from the ice, out into the open. Welcome to my domain. <laughs> it is now also in the space of the healing spirit. We have, we have some nothing. words to have you and I <laughs> put you there. Ice Elemental is that one person on the couch with like six dudes behind them now. <laughs> like, is that, is that, is that your turn, Emmanuel? You have no chance to defeat me. <laughs> and I'm I, I appreciate that you were setting yourself up to be cut off. Yeah. I appreciate you a lot. <laughs> Gino, you are okay. gra still grappling it. Okay. So, I don't remember if we had this conversation before. Can the Echo make attacks fine while I'm doing that? You can attack while you're grappled uh, anyways. While you're grappling with, anyways. With a two-handed weapon? Are there, I don't know how that interacts. I don't think there are rules. I don't think there are like rules that cover. I'm pretty that. sure it's just while you... Because when you grapple someone, you could... Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure you can. Because like, it, it, the idea is like you could grapple somebody by wrapping a leg around them and whatnot. So That's fair. I'll say, go ahead. Okay, no. Go ahead. I... I'll hand wave Fuck it. Fuck you! If it is a rule, I don't care. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah! Two style points and fucking die! That's a lot of ones, but not anymore! <laughs> 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 God that, for great weapon Note for future Hayden, that's a TikTok. <laughs> that's a lot of ones, but not anymore. Oh, 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 fuck. oh and that's right. where the TikTok ends. That all fuck. At least you could ain't going again. Style point. Yeah. <laughs> that hits, uh, yeah. That hits. <laughs> and you do another okay. 17 to it. Okay. And that's me. <laughs> uh, oh. Hey, um, Anna, why don't we have you do it? Roll me 1d100. 1d100. I can remember how to do this. Hold on. I have faith. I this. I, hold on. Uh, uh, I believe uh, in you. Uh, Ah, okay. I think this is proper. Shoot. Uh, that was two D ten. So Fuck. you you right click on that die, and then you click the D one hundred, the percentage thing on the wheel, and then you drop oh, that in. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Right click. Percentage. Yeah, that's what we wanted, and there that's enough. Go. You guys hear a clicking sound? There's this sputtering all of a sudden. And you just hear like a, all right, got it! As the generator kicks to life, and as it does, the emergency lights, as soon as the game lets me get to them, emergency lights would sputter back to glorious life. One second, as I go, and I hit the right the day. color. The other day, when my power was out, I went outside and there was just, you could just hear so many generators going on at once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just the, the whole, the whole neighborhood was just a c cacophony of generators. Bam. As the red emergency power lights sputter on. It looks so much less safe now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real You're quick, right. Real quick, did that do that for everybody? Over to here. And don't worry, everyone. The blood lights are on. <laughs> yeah, the oh, yeah. the emergency power lights are a deep red. Did I say blood lights? I meant blood lights. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, Marty Lay. It is your turn. Uh, I was gonna be like, wait, I'm dead. <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> and then I was. You are prone right now, because you oh, it's your hit prone. point. Because you um, got a panacea on you. Yeah. So thankfully, standing from prone only cost me five feet because of my feet. It's true. Nice. So I go 
Mm -hmm. But you've only got two. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I can get up. You would stay where you were, because that's in the ice. Oh, okay. Body that then clips into the ice. <laughs> okay. Insert Gary's mod. <laughs> Sounds. <laughs> if, you wanted, if you wanted to, you could get I like. I thought here. I had to move still. Okay. Nope. nope. Um, you can just use five feet of movement to stand up in your own space. And now it is okay. totally out in the open, uh, totally able to be hit by whatever. If you Alrighty. wanted to get back some, you could get like back here if you want. Yeah. Uh, one moment. Agreed. <laughs> but yeah. and it's like, no. Um, uh,. Do I want to Earth Tremor? This is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Get the lights back on, Earthquake. Crank it again. <laughs> ah, darn it. All right. Come <laughs> on, um, it. Oh, thank God the blood lights are gone. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's 10 feet. Range is 10 feet. I always forget, like, how big this, if it is even a You would probably, you would, you would hit me a minute. We'll say because you're on that weird nebulous space there, they're each only a quarter in. We'll say you, you wouldn't okay. have them. I tend, I like to go by the half uh, space rule. I know most okay. people go by the quarter space rule. I like to go by the half space rule. Okay. So then I, let me uh, make these some, ah. Move these things a little, some, damn it. Eh. Here, I'll, uh, I'll just. I'm just trying to minimize some of, some of the stuff here. Yeah. Um, so then I will do a level 3 Earth Tremor. Oh! I, I will do it on this thing. Okay. I was so just we'll... looking at it. Okay, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> so roll a save against him. Eh. He not 20 oh. but I believe it still does half damage. Yes. So make sure you... Uh, do you have uh, the right thing on there for doing level 3? Uh, I have it. Woo! Excuse me, I ticked off level three. Yep. And so then, then I have to do the three D six. And then I have to click half, right? You don't have to click half. Because he failed, that'll oh. parse in automatically. Oh, okay. Oh wait, hold on. Earth Tremor, Earth Tremor. Uh oh no, it's not a half one. It's a, it's a hack and save versus fail. So it doesn't take any. Save or suck. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Um oop. Uh Bonus action, then I will. Um, I will use a level two heal on many. Cool. So yeah, you use the earth tremor. Die. It shakes, but it manages to remain in place using its <laughs> wide uh, center of gravity and weight to stop from falling. You then give a modest heal to Emmanuel. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> help us help. I just do one. I'm so sorry. Assuming that's the end of your turn. That is me. It is going. I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me. <laughs> it is going to attack. <laughs> it is going to attack Fio. Uh, Swings back towards you. And it misses the first attack. Woohoo! It tries to strike you, drags its claw along the ice. It is then going to go for another attack, and this one's going to be on Gino. And it hits. Damn. Yeah. Well, I got a pretty good Fucking... hit. God damn! Strikes you Fuck dealing win. 18 damage. It then tries to get back into the ice. It moves and puts its hand in and tries to shift itself towards it. But it's, uh, I it can't, it can't manage to. It's grappled. Can't move, uh, no. away from you. Arden, it's you and that boy. So, go kick his ass. <laughs> In that very red space. You know, yeah. Over in Fight Club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Fight Club him <laughs> to death. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that is a 12 hit. That does not hit. Okay, didn't think so. Second attack! Well, that one it. hits! There bro. you go! Alright, I'll take it. Um, oh wait, I gotta read a, read a thing real quick. Um, nerd. Ah, shit. Reading. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, I'm going to stack my brand of castigation on him. 
All right, uh, cool. This is whenever I damage a creature, I can choose to sear an arcane brand of Hemocraft magic into it. Um, so uh, take that. All right. I'm gonna damage him. You deal 24 oh, damage up to 26. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fire damage, I need you to do more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then my bonus action, I'm going to use Blood Curse of Bloated Agony. Whoa. And I'm going to, I'm going to amplify Quickly, it. real quick. Mm -hmm. I don't think your blood curses work on things that don't have blood. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're not a right. ghost slayer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Ah, oh, darn it. Sorry. That one's really good. That's though. okay. Ah. Uh, um, do I have any other bonus action things? Um, I don't think I do. Uh, he's been doing bludgeoning damage, right? Bludgeoning and uh, he's actually been doing slashing and cold. And that's it? Yep. Okay. I'm going to drink my mutagen. My, uh, the shielded mutagen. Alrighty. Alright, that's my bonus action. Um, that's all I can do. You stay in there? Yeah. Alrighty. Nicolo? I'm going to murder it with my gun. I see. Because I'm glad that he has no longer superior cover because disadvantage is fine. Superior cover sucks. <laughs> oh no, negative five. You only have a plus eight or seven. I know, but that means I can have a chance of not hitting him. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your attack. <laughs> yeah. You rush in towards him, you strike at him, and you hit. Yeah. Minus five means I might not be God it anymore. Takes ten more damage. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You hit. Yeah. You deal 14 more damage. Thanks. <laughs> um, do I want to use... Uh, uh, hold on one second. I need to see what a thing does. I, th I think I can move it on a bonus action. Bonus action your turn. You can move this here up to 30 feet. So I think you can see. I'm going to move my healing, uh, my healing boy. Um... I'm gonna move it over top of a, of a manual again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, is that you? Yep. Ice Elemental 2. It's gonna take this last step towards Arden. Come at oh! me! <laughs> and it is going to go <laughs> for an in-case attack. Uh oh. Okay. It attacks. Best succeed. It does not hit. Why does it have disadvantage? Because you're blurred. Because you're blurred. Yep. Of course. Because I'm blurred. <laughs> it tries to encase you in it. It tries to wrap its body and shift around you to try to enca like, encase you in itself, but it does not succeed. You use the flame on your weapon to push it back, and it resumes its previous form. Mm hmm. So I'm going to move slightly up. Okay. Theo. Okay. Hi. Flame blade, y'all. You rush Star at it. Blade, Jump towards it. Strike it with your flame blade. <laughs> you make that noise. You hit. <laughs> <laughs> Fio does something to my brain, guys. <laughs> I could possibly destroyed. understand what you mean. <laughs> you strike yes. through it. Its body is cut in half. Parts of it melting. There's a cracking sound from the two halves of its body, and they start to shatter and break apart into smaller and smaller pieces of ice that collapse to the ground. Woo! It melts cool. into liquid ice. <laughs> and listen. <laughs> hey, not all ice is water. It's true. <laughs> Okay. So, um, what was that I heard? Ice is technically, or water is tech. What is it? Ice is technically. No, yeah, it's uh, it's fucking. Water's technically magma. Magma. Oh, Logan. Yeah. 
I've had uh, think the thing about blood curses. Yeah. Uh, creatures creatures that do not have blood in their bodies are immune to blood curses unless I amplify the curse. Oh, okay. Well, good to know. Yeah. So if you'd amplified it, you've been able to do it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna scoot my boot over there and head in towards Arden. And that's going to be me. Alrighty. Manny. He's mine. <laughs> He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't know. Hi! <laughs> hey! You! Die or whatever! <laughs> I'm gonna cast, uh, what, what's fun? Uh, I don't know. Chaos Bolt. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's cold damage. <laughs> Roll it. See if it hits first. Yeah. Uh, it does not. Crap! <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, heck you. <laughs> you tell him. Oh, All right, you're gonna get him, man. And you blink out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get it. <laughs> Gino. Uh. Okay. Well. Oh, I forgot to heal Manny. I'm gonna heal him. I'm gonna. I can see Arden through the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just um, bonus action pop uh, another echo over there. Eh. Everyone trying so to get up on my kill. It's <laughs> <laughs> your ass. Here we go. <laughs> All these goddamn kill stealers coming after my thing. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I guess I'll, I will also have Gino move like here. You want to step uh, into here. the into the Healy thing first, and then move over there? Sure, I'll do that. <laughs> Yay! So I can. Yeah, now I will just go nuts on this bitch. Thank you, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, that hits. Yo. You strike, you deal 11 damage. Uh, yeah. You deal another 15 damage. And... Yeah, on this incarnation. <laughs> Once more. Stay nope. away from that my misses. kill! Oh. There you go. Also, uh, Theo, you killed a thing with a higher CR than your level, so you would have gained a style point whenever you did that, just so you know. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Is that you, Gino? Yeah. Marilai. One moment, please. Right. I was handling the hair straightener. Understood. All right. How very Marty lay of you, mid-combat, straightening <laughs> actual hair. <laughs> I can multitask. Ah, uh, uh, here we go. I move this way to that. That's a lot of difficult terrain yeah. in there. I, 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 don't I don't exist there, know. so There's no, they can uh, do it. Yeah, Manuel's not oh. there. Manny's not there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, and then... <laughs> um... Actually, no. Earth Tremor will hit these two. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Tremor will hit these Absolutely. two. Absolutely. And that would not be fun, now would it? Um, you want give him a kiss? I could probably give him a kiss. Or I can twerk in their face and offend them again with the clap of my ass cheek. One or the other. Like, either <laughs> one would be great, honestly. Uh, <laughs> the way you damage him is they clutch their pearls. <laughs> <laughs> um... Let me just look at let me just look at Devil's Kiss because I have to charm them first to get the real like the, the nice one, but I can still do a good bit of damage. Yeah. It has advantage uh, if they're charmed. Yeah. 
You can also uh, blast them with a thunder wave. It's that's also, awesome. Devil's Kiss is a thing that if they're charmed, if I recall correctly, the way we have it set up is, um, if they're charmed, if they're charmed. and, and the, if the they would, if attacking them would normally knock them out of being charmed, then you can roll and uh, they might not recognize it as hostile. Yeah. Um, I can, I can try, I, I, well, I'm pretty close. Uh, let me just, let me just dare to compare. Uh... You could use Dance of Coercion uh, to, as a bonus action to try to do that, and then you could use Devil's Kiss as an action if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a bonus action. Okay. Yeah, let's do, let's do the first one first. Yeah, alrighty. Uh, let me find it again. It's right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's right here. Alright, let's freaking, let's Dance of Coercion. Oh my god! How did- Oh my lord! It succeeded okay. somehow! <laughs> well, I'm gonna give it a kiss anyway. Kiss? I'm gonna give it a mwah. Because that one, it failed. So, so real quick, though. Yeah. Um, the devil's kiss is the attack, remember? The saving throw is for determining oh, oh, if- Oh! Oh! I thought I still had to roll the save. That's okay. if you hit, and if they were charmed, that's to determine if they would cease being charmed or oh. not. Uh, so, okay, okay. Go, 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 scroll to the top of your page, you'll see there's Devil's Kiss under your weapons. Use that one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, roll that plus eight against him. Eh. Eh. That hits. Now roll the damage for that. There'll be no okay. saving throw because uh, they're not charmed. They're not charmed. Okay. I think. I'm gonna reread re it again real quick. Um, Devil's Kiss. If you hit, could you go comment on it? Yeah. So, because they're not charmed, there's no extra thing for it. But you do 14 damage, uh, upgraded to 21 because it's vulnerable to the fire. Ooh. Okay, I think that's me. Alrighty. Arden. <gasps> Now's your time. This is the time. The time is now. Now's the time. The time is now. Alright, Arden. Natural one. Leave him on that 19. Do it, what? Daddy Daddy. Leave him on that 19, Arden. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to, um, because I think it's fine. Uh, I'm going to use amplified version of, uh, Blood Curse of Agony. Okay. So, I gotta use, uh, I gotta roll some damage on myself real quick. <laughs> oh, crap! Oh, no! <laughs> 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 Shouldn't have cut yourself with the glaive. You better you do that. <laughs> you do not take um what how much of that? 16? You don't you no. don't no no more than that. You don't take 19, 19. of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh god. god. Give, give yourself back 19. Uh you should be What's at 39 plus 19. Uh it's um, 58. That's... I'll put you yeah, up to it. Yeah. There you go. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the moment we all see the dice girl all in unison, just no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodbye, Happy Potato Daddy! <laughs> okay. Uh, what? Win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have two effects on here. Oh, no, no. One was for the. Yeah, never mind. Um. Okay. Did, did they have to make a save? <clears throat> or does it just work? No. All right. They will. They get to save at the end of their turn against it. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Also, because I used a blood curse, I get a style point. Nice. nice. You do it as you do. Its body begins to uh, bulk up as if excess ice is forming, and you see air pockets appearing inside of it. Parts of it begin to crack as it bloats. All right. I swing my glaive at its arm. I'm gonna try and chop it off. All right. Hey -ya. That's a hit. That's a hit. That okay. was so. <laughs> yeah. That was a ride. Yeah. Was, that. Wait. Well, three different numbers. Is I it should have more damage than that. Did you take? Be did you take it off of because yourself? Because of the smite. Oh no. Because because you, you used it. Because it's only once per turn. Oh. <laughs> Roll two d eight. Roll two d eight. Roll two d eight. Everything on this turn's gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. <laughs> That's really funny. All right. What are you doing now? Second attack. All right. If this hits, then... 
how do you want to do this? I mean, roll your damage, yeah! but how do you want to do this? It had one. <laughs> it had one hit point. And I did. Oh, finally. <laughs> All right. Yeah, like I said, with the first attack, I'm going to uh, slice and just try and uh, take off its arm. You do. Um, and then uh, with the second attack, I just... Uh, I cut off, like, the the leg that the same... Uh, like, the same side that the arm was on that I cut off. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of falls over to its you do, side. You cut off the leg, and as you do, its weight begins to shift. It crashes against the ice, ice to its side. As it tries to push itself back up, the air pockets your curse is causing inside it begin to expand out. It grows and then shatters explosively into shards of ice. <sighs> that <sighs> was <laughs> awesome! <sighs> oh, it was really scary there when I hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> it looked way worse for a second. Yeah, I really thought it was worse for a moment, but like, you're, you're fine. I'm gonna wait for Emmanuel to come back. I'm just gonna throw both the healing, both the rest of the healings on him. Emmanuel comes back. Uh, Manny, just for the fun of it, roll me. Uh, after you come back, roll One me more. a d20. <laughs> do I get a style point from the yes, you killing do. that thing? Manny I comes back again. six minutes, seconds later, he disappears. Well, I gave him one before he disappears. I'll wait for the other one. <laughs> a few remain. seconds later, he reappears again what? and then disappears. That's as many as I can And then he disappears. <laughs> I can't keep losing him. <laughs> How long does that spell last? Uh, that would be the last As, one, last of a minute. Uh, before the <laughs> second last one, Ovet comes up. It's like, all right, that's done. Okay, so on. Where's Emmanuel? Oh, there you are. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Hey, Vet. Everything taken care of? <laughs> Should be. The lights are back on, but um, we have one more generator to check on. I'm assuming the others do their side as well. Then we should be good. Uh, whenever oh. we had heard bat-like noises coming from the other way, did it sound anything like the things we just fought? Yeah. Crap. All right, well, we can assume that there are some more of those bat-like creatures down that other way, <laughs> so keep on guard. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see any bats. Ah. I got a little wanna... batty in here. Everybody gains 950 red orbs. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, let's take off. Uh, we got more to deal with, and then we'll head back upstairs and get the real party started. And as you guys begin to walk away, um, just based purely on time, I was where we'll stop for today. Play Logan. <laughs> that golem punched me in the we... face three times. Hey, Logan, before we leave the room, <clears throat> can Nicolo just like look around like the corner of the room and say, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm just looking for something blue. It seems to happen. Never mind. No, let's go. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> No, me. I know that. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just looking to make sure it happens sometimes. <laughs> In the most random of places. Uh, uh, maybe we could take five minutes for a short rest. Maybe we would take that to walk oh, back. Oh, stretching. Real, here you go. Heckin' rest and short rest. You guys apply any hit die you want to roll right now. And then that's today. Can I... Can I brew a potion? Can I brew a mutagen as we walk? It's a short rest. <laughs> as long as it only takes that amount of time, then sure. It does. Cool. I can Perfect. do also a song of rest. Yes, that'd be great. Very appreciative. Oh, no. I'm at 69 hit points. I can't spend anymore. <laughs> I was I'm too, but then I bit the bullet. Oh, damn it. <clears throat> oh, that was fun. That was fun. That was very fun. Uh, Very good. <sighs> I'll do. Yeah, no, I'm gonna save two hit dice. Sentinel's the best feats to ever. Dude, I fucking love ever. it. Well, especially with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking movements to come so, into my range. So the, the uh, intended way that I thought you'd deal with that is if you went far enough away, they'd have to come out to chase you. Um, yes. That's but what, I have to admit, was my the idea. grappling and well. pulling it out bit, though, that was fun. I like that. that was yeah. Like yeah. Round like one. The lure. <laughs> that I was like I was lightning honestly... lure. And then they just kept beating That's it. That's so good. <laughs> 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 like, I was like, oh, I'll just grab him. 
if I ever get not <laughs> <laughs> I had not seen that you were doing that. It's just like, I need to take that hit for him. I need to fucking, I need to run over so I can freaking, he can actually move. So, <laughs> had you not, I was going to cast haste on myself, <laughs> step to the side, <laughs> And then cast lightning lure. <laughs> okay. Imagine every time you tried to move, the fucking hand just comes out, and I just imagine like just downward, just poof, just like just like a bop on the head, just bang. Because yeah. of mechanics, the implication that it waits for me to stand up, so I'm at like punch level. <laughs> just a clop, so he just can. squish you back down. <laughs> 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 did, you, did you roll a song, Marile? Uh, yeah, yeah, she got a four. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it looks like they applied it to everybody. <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So with that, if uh, I don't know, Marile, do you want to use any HD as well? Because you um. I I used four. Oh, you used four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Next time we'll pick up with the next of the generators. Back in. Oof. I'm glad we were back on DMS. I always hate missing it because we miss a whole month. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, and yo, people at home, what's that on the back plate there? Is that a couple of people's names? Because they they joined at a specific tier on the Patreon that we've got going on what? there? They get to be up what? there in big old black no letters. Way. Just on the back. That's insane. What a, what a, what a deal along with all the other things. There. It's actually not. It's a lot of money. I w Really? I can't recommend doing that unless you really like us. So <laughs> don't unless you really <laughs> like us. Otherwise, spend the money on chocolate. Okay, so that one. There we go. Oh, chocolate sounds fucking good Just right now. tons of fucking chocolate. Uh gosh oh okay youtube side i uh, don't mean to heckin ditch or anything but i think we're gonna take off just so we can wind Goodbye, up real quick. youtube goodbye goodbye, goodbye.